Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome back to this. <laughs> yes, welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is LaXP, I'm here with Pixel Riffs, and we are back in the lands between. Doing whatever <laughs> it is we do in the lands between. So what are we doing, Pix? You're finally awake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the first thing we're doing is uh, telling everybody what we did last time and kind of giving ourselves a refresher because... Uh, even though it's only been a few days, it's like, what do we do again? Like this. Oh, there was an entirety of the Hermit Craft recap I did since the last stream. Yeah. I mm -hmm. barely remember anything ever. <laughs> I, I love that. It's just, this this pause just gives me like extra hat protection. Yeah, the, the hat is very good at hiding your face. I keep having to like re angle the camera to be like, are you in? Are you under there still? <laughs> yep. It's yep, very good. Yep, yep. Can't see anything, but, uh, you know. It's called fashion. Look it up. Yes. Right. Okay. You did. Okay. You did do another previously on Elden Ring. I so did. Let's go check that out. Maybe I can. Uh, then I can remember why do I have the rune arc still popped? <laughs> yes. We'll see. All right. Gonna show everybody what we did last time. In three, two, one, go. Previously on Elden Ring. Did you farm a guy? Yeah. Can you please unequip the sword for a moment so that we can make them kiss? <laughs> You've defeated our lord. There was like... a gun with his name. Yeah. Right next to him. Also patches in the hallway. <laughs> what? And squatting. There's like chairs all over the place. I have two bullet points for this stream. The first bullet point says, kill the three sentinels. I got flames now. Flames. Woo! <laughs> Try using your shield next time, loser. Nice! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Once again, warming up on the tree sentinels. Yeah, we have not been here yet. That's that's a point. Perceptor what now? She seems to have taught Loretta the Great Bow spell. Very perceptive of her. Or him, now actually. I don't I don't now. really know if Miriam is intended to be a uh, a boss? An invasion? I mean, just female. <laughs> oh. So yes, a boss. <laughs> I don't know if it's a boss or a girl boss. <laughs> Did we even go back and see Tops? It took us an hour and a half to grab the extra key. <laughs> Only so we don't ever actually give it to Tops. Apparently we're very bad at returning to people we met in churches. There is a pressure plate on the ceiling. Uh-huh. I may have rotated the planet. <laughs> you might have. Oh, also, Miriam is, is back. <laughs> Cool. I don't. Why? I don't know. I have every confidence in you, he says, donning the mask of confidence. Here we are with the upside down chandeliers. Did the rats also rotate? The question is, have the rats rotated, or have we? Are we going up, or are we going down? The final do is also down. Why is this a cutscene? And they, they have to have a cutscene for this because otherwise the physics just don't work as far as the video game is concerned. I think. Now we're just outside the tower. Don't worry about it. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? By the way, enjoy his entire outfit. Um, wow! Say hello to Ronnie. For comparison... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. This is how much bigger Rani is compared to, you know, normal people. I'm going to her place because primarily I want her hat. <laughs> Do you want to go bother Celebus since we're here? Yes. Oh! He's dead then. Perceptor's big hat. Perceptor's you... <laughs> long gown. Perceptor's gloves. You got a big hat out of it. The let me solo hair guy. Yep. There it freaking is. We stole all of her outfit. Oh, there's a portal here. Miniature Rani? <laughs> she has merch? Welcome back to playing Grounded in Elden Ring. It's the T-posing guy. Oh, there's more Nokron. You know what they we say, don't knock until you've side. tried it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> We've been here, though. Have we? We've not been to, like, this side of it, I guess. It does look very cinematic, you just standing there with this big pointy hat in front of, like, the... <laughs> The giant underground city with stars in the sky in a cave. The one problem with this game is that it never hides anything good behind waterfalls. Oh no. What's that it's smell the red in the air? variant of the Siofra River. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> there's more. There's more down. Don't take me deeper into the hell. How is there a sky here? I think the sky is something we need to be worried about. Lake of Rot. The entire time I was like, hell yeah, kill it. But there's only so much I can take. Oh, yeah. See, so what there are... I was afraid of is that the Scarlet Rot level would rise instead. I'm not normally one to put myself on a pedestal, but um, <laughs> Grand Cloister. For whom? Of what? 
<laughs> for why? Visual metaphor for what this game is doing to me. <laughs> I love that you're getting in this with the giant hat still on as well. Oh my god, are we gonna surf the freaking waterfall? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the I love the hat with the beard under it. That's so good. I should have worn something even stupider. Say hello to the adult form of all of the weird gravity yes. things we've been fighting this whole time. Oh, he uh, grabbed me this time. You got a little bit too close, my man. I got chomped. Rock sling. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <That's got him. laughs> that was incredibly timed. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute yeah. hero moment right there. <laughs> Why is there an academy symbol here? You cannot proceed without a ring of oaf. Certified ring of oof moment. We didn't do the village we were talking about in Leonia. Frenzied flame village. Yeah, the village of messed up boys. Shabri's woo constantly attracts enemies aggression. Beneath Landale at the very bottom lies our lord, lord of the frenzied. The three fingers who holds us in thrall. The other three fingers. <laughs> There is one ever jail we haven't been back to yet. Oh yeah, we got the spike. Yep, moon whale did it. Remember when we had trouble with this guy? Is that it? Yes, that is it. That was that was us. And uh, here we are having, you know, re reveling in our glory. And I'm still just trying to take in the hat. To be honest, I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to take in the the fact that Godfrey is dead. I had so much trouble with him previously, and it always felt so so close. And like to 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 have nuked him. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah, it's yeah. So funny. It's it's pretty great. Like the uh... the balance in this game is is so cool. Like you can come here super early and attempt these fights. Mm -hmm. Or you can come yeah. through super late and absolutely steamroll, and I kind of like the latter, especially if the former has given us trouble, so it's it's been fun. Yeah, absolutely. It is still a little bit of a shame, because Godfrey, like, he's just Godric, but, like, more. Yeah, Go uh, Godric, but with a, a higher HP pool and yeah, 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 yeah. less dragons. So you kind of, like, it's very upsetting to lose to him, because you already know everything he's gonna do one way or another. Yeah, and he, do and he does less than the other version of him, so, like... Exactly, yeah. he doesn't have, like, second phase or whatever. So... But yeah, yeah. We, we have now trashed him, and now we move on to the, uh, list of activities for today's stream. Uh, I did put a few suggestions in Discord, because oh, there yeah. are a few things that, like, we've mentioned, and I feel like if we weren't just, like powering through this every couple of days and trying to remind ourselves what we've done so far we would probably have a better memory of these um but i have on the list uh give the key to topes yep. um feed hyeta some more grapes go mm -hmm. back and see selen or vare or both uh mm -hmm. go searching for paintings do some elden ring geoguessa um we didn't explore all of the like staircases and stuff that there were in noxtella we just kind of walked through the valley to get to the point where the uh the Astel boss fight is. You keep yeah. talking about the Poison Castle in the north part of Altus Plateau, so we can maybe it's try and... It's a castle and it's surrounded by something green. I, I really like that area. Yeah, yeah. So we can we can maybe do that. Um, we've got the Valiant Gargoyles boss fight that's the other end of Shifra River. Um, and that's something that we did a while ago. We can probably manage at the level we're at now. And the other thing uh, is story progression if we want to go through Lanedale and try and get into the actual mm -hmm. city. Uh, so, Fascinating. whole variety yeah. of things we can do. <laughs> I think we do need to start like with something, you know, a little bit nicer. So let's uh, let's try and help Fops and then yeah. feed a, uh, a woman. <laughs> okay. Also, yeah. do you mind me shilling real quick? Oh, because please do. I, yeah, so... I've not been paid by Twitch in like a year, which is perfectly normal, don't get me wrong. Like, they stopped paying Russian streamers, but I like getting paid when I work. I bring this up because I had uh, set like a donation goal for like 250 bucks for the last month. And I just glanced over and I got just shocked, but because we are at 89 bucks already. Heck yeah. And I didn't think we would get anywhere there. So before I forget, I want to go into my settings <laughs> and make it so that the goal doesn't reset <laughs> at the end of the month because the end of the month is today. Fair, yeah. Um, because it would be just unfair uh, to my like to my people who actually did do this. 
So I'm like going into stream elements and like just directly trying to change that. So yeah, thank you so to everyone who like ever donated. Really, really appreciate it. I don't expect anyone to do that, but if you ever feel like supporting me, please don't do it via Twitch. I'm never seen in that money. Like <laughs> at but, least uh, not not for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Not for the, yeah, not for the, it's it's unclear where when they're gonna start paying me again. And that is uh, <clears throat> How do I put it? <laughs> Uncomfortable, so, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the. For, for everybody step. involved, I think. Oh, Twitch is. That's been. Twitch has made it pretty clear that, like, the reason they're doing this is because, well, what the hell, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna. There we go. I prolonged it. And that's the only time I'm gonna bring it up. And that's the only reason I'm bringing it up is because I needed to prolong it before I forget. Because if I forget, it's gonna be bad. So, Fox. Uh, yes, um, I guess Lake Facing Cliffs is probably the first, yeah, the, the site of grace that's closest to the church where he hangs out. Um, yep. uh, El Shrieker in my chat has asked how far into the game we've gotten. And that's a really difficult thing to like, summarize yeah. um yeah. i i worked out after our last stream that we have beaten less than half the bosses in this game um but obviously that doesn't really count for story progress and stuff we are yeah, at the point we've been we've been we've killed like what five or three avatars yeah we've we've killed four of the shard bearers we have dealt with godric renala radan and rykard so the last one on Gideon's hit list, at least, is Morgoth, who is the Lord and Monarch of Laindell. We haven't set foot in Laindell at all. We haven't, like, gotten the way in yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything like that. Um, in my single-player playthrough where I'm playing as my, like, melee-only Spike Cestus Barefist Steve character, I'm currently maybe, like, five or six bosses away from the end, and I know everything, yeah. like, pretty well. Like, I've beaten this game before, so... Um, yeah, keep spoilers out of Zloy's chat if you can, um, Please. but from my point of view, I don't really want to say, like, we're X amount through the game, because I don't want to, like, spoil the length of the game and, like, what else How is left. Have you been uploading uh, on the stream recaps on YouTube? We haven't, but Pix does have a VOD channel where all of the streams are available, so if you want to watch, <laughs> like, a stream recap or, or particular... I do need to can. update it with some of the more recent ones, but yeah, like, a lot of the yeah. older ones are there for sure. Also, like, I've been downloading every single VOD I do. I really do want to, like, video edit something hilarious after this. Mm -hmm. whole... Yeah. Because <laughs> it's really, really good. Anyway, Michael uh, from v uh, Vsauce here. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Give the Academy Glintstone uh, key. Please give. <laughs> yes, hold on. Put your starlight. There we go. Oh, yeah. Give the Academy Glintstone key. Well, are you certain? Are you certain? You're willing to give your Glintstone key to me. My, oh, my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I mean, I have to. Now I can uh, go back to the Academy to resume my study of Glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> wow. Erudition! Yep. <laughs> this this is probably one of my favorite gestures in the entire game for two reasons. The first of which I will show you now. Um because if we go to it, let me let me I'm gonna switch out Rapture for this one. Here we yep. go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the mind-blown one! And it just takes so long to do. You're just there for so long in this, like, position, and then suddenly it's like, it occurs to me, kind of thing. It's so good. Yeah, but no, look at this. Look at this, though. Yeah. Thinking, it just forms a perfect thinking. triangle with my hat. Yeah, yeah, it's very good for the hat that you've got going on. And then you get to throw it back and you can finally see your face. I, I'm like one of those birds of paradise with the Majin dance. Yeah. The other... You know, the the one that like does like a little skirt out of its wing. Yeah, the the other the other incredible thing about this, I will show you because we've already done this. Um, go okay. to the I think it's the converted tower on the left hand side of um, Leonia, like by the by where the Albanoric village is. Converted tower over there. Oh yeah, okay. So this tower, I believe, is the one where instead of, like, a ladder, 
you end up um, you end up with like a statue, and it has a puzzle that you have to solve, basically. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. of course, it says erudition guides D. Yes, it's uh, it's a puzzle that you can only solve if you've completed Tops's quest, given him the Academy Glintstone key, and received that gesture. What? So. Uh, uh -huh. If you read the message here, it says, yeah, erudition guide thee. And so the yeah. idea, you imagine, is you have to do the gesture in front of the statue, right? Mm -hmm. Thinking, 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 ta-da! Yeah. And then nothing happens, right? Yes. So, okay, oh! there, no, there it is. <laughs> oh. But if you've been playing around in Rey Lucaria, chances are you've gotten hold of one of those Academy Glintstone crowns. Like, uh -huh. like this one, for example. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it turns out that what happens when you do the erudition gesture wearing one of these... Oh! <laughs> it lights up! <laughs> Amazing! The dang thing glows! It has a LED in it! Yeah, it's... it's so cool! Full, full RGB uh, wizard regalia. Um, and it does yeah. it does a different one, but like the crystal lights up depending on which of the cla the the clowns the crowns you <laughs> have. Um, I mean the clowns too, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, anyway, we just parkoured up there with a horse, so I don't mind showing you the, the yeah. solution to that one because it's pretty funny. <laughs> this is hilarious. Like I would never made the connection. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's it, uh, even it, if I had like the gesture, I, I never think about gestures and whatnot. Yeah, it's one of those things where like the word erudition only appears in like one other place in the game, and it's there, so yeah. you kind of have to put two and two together. But yeah, with with the amount of other stuff you've pieced together in this game, I reckon you'd have managed it on your own. But Aww, I mean, the, the horse yeah. parkour method was just like a good shortcut anyway. So. Uh, do we find Forbes in the academy now? Cause yes, yeah, you do. Um, I don't see him on, at any of the any of the graces. Yeah, he's gone from Church of Irith now, so I think he's en route. Yeah, if <laughs> if you want to do this more swiftly, I'm pretty sure Schoolhouse Classroom is the best way to get to him. Okay. Because this is very much like a. Uh, the end of his quest. Awesome. Oof. All right. If we uh, if we head out this way, it turns out there was a desk over here somewhere that uh -huh. was um, uninhabited when we first came oh here. Oh my god! Of course he's dead. Yep. <laughs> like I said, it's the end of his quest, and well, at this point we yeah, should know how yeah. quests end in this game. <laughs> he was so happy though. He was like, "Yay! I get to go figure things out." Yep. And he sure Academy did. Academy Glintstone stuff and Pops area. Yep. What? He got a spell named after him and everything. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> well, everyone, Michael from Vsauce is dead now. Uh, <laughs> sucks, but what you gonna do? Um, and I don't really have the spell. <laughs> I mean, I never did Rock Blaster. Uh, what's this? Fox Barrier. Erect a magic force force field to deflect spells. Fops, you m <laughs> Yep. This would have been very useful. Sure we would have. Getting killed by the, the thing. The guy. The, uh... You know, the I that mean, guy. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the full-grown star beast of starness. Oh, it, it works like a, like a parry and you have to time it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a m magic kind of shield bash kind of deal but yeah uh, that kind of sucks but yeah maybe both a try yeah and you also got the academy glintstone stuff from that which i think is unique oh. to him i don't think it's uh one that you get from the regular sorcerers here i could be wrong well it's still a downgrade from my one but who knows like we do have more or less eastern uh infinite water cave what they're called 
infinite uh, smith and stones yeah astel you guys defeated astel well defeated is an interesting way of putting it we yes we killed them <laughs> oh. it turns out it is it took forever but we did it is the same academy glintstone stuff but it does say only a recognized sorcerer is permitted to wield this stuff so it, it feels like it's kind of a, a posthumous um feather in his cap i suppose <laughs> yeah um... Anyway, we've killed Topes. Congrats. Let's. Uh... <laughs> who who gave Fobs that hat? He's not a rec he's not recognized by anyone. I mean, we recognized him. <laughs> we recognized his corpse to ID it for the police. <laughs> um. Okay. Right. Uh, we've got next on the list is Hyetta. Do you want to go kill her as well, or do you want to? Um... Yeah, sure. While we're you know, leading people directly to their doom. Yeah, something like that. There's also Black God. Let's let's go before Black God departs. Let's go buy some shrimp. Is he still there? I guess if we go to Boil Pro and Shack, he it says that he's there. He is on the map. Yeah, which is weird because we did kill Makar, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so he he should have moved, but I yeah. I mean I guess he's still here. Maybe we just didn't uh, talk to him all the way. Probably. Right. Can oh, piss off. <laughs> what is it now? Always a lovely oh, greeting. I see. You want so many prawns? Literally, yes. Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. Some other bits. <laughs> Funny thing is, when you go into his shop, all he has is the prawns, because you've already bought Raya's yeah. necklace. Yeah, th those are all the beats. Okay, I can only buy six of them, uh, but they do boost physical damage negation. And it's the only, like, food I've seen in the game that just, like, description doesn't suck. Yeah, yeah, that isn't just, like, gold-tinted poop or whatever. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, instead, it, like, uh, you know how, like, all the amazing liver, it's, just, it's liver, it's disgusting. Yeah, and or it's, like, like boiled like it's... meat dumplings or whatever, yeah. Yeah, 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 and this is, like, boiled prawn meat, prime specimen of plump and moist meat. True connoisseurs know how to keep from oversalting. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Uh... Anyway, once you bought stuff from him, you uh... should be able to just talk to him. Oh. Really? Yeah, the option shows up in my menu, but maybe you yeah, have to yeah, buy yeah, a prawn first. I bought. It. I got a. I got an emote. Oh, you did? Nice. To lay down. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hold on. You're tarnished too, ain't you? <laughs> Can you see it then? <laughs> I love him so the much. The guidance of grace. I mean, I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between? Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Never met someone with a the earth tree is broke, yes. Yes. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> the tree has broken. Amazing. The man has... Some takes, let me tell you. Yeah. Well, this is definitely the stream where we're getting all the good gestures. Yeah, yeah. We need to find some snowy areas so we can make snow angels. Oh, you're already laying down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right there in the mud. Okay. Where else? And this is the driest patch of Leonia, probably, so... <laughs> Fair enough. This is, this is, like, close enough to the campfire that maybe it's at least a little bit tolerable. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. My only issue is that I don't have enough ru uh, runes to buy more shrimp. Do you have any uh, um, golden runes you can crush or no? I mean, I don't really, I don't think I actually need them. I got six and I will Fair. not remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I always like, I like the idea of consumables in this game, but also it's like, yeah, you're just going to run out of them because you, when you really need them is probably when you're just going to be dying over and over again anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You only remember about them when you're really struggling, and when you're really struggling, they kind of don't help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that being said, hey, some physical damage negation. Um, probably could have saved me from some other avatar smashing my head against the rock very <laughs> hard. 
Um, okay, where do we find the... What's her face? I think at this point, Hyetta, if she's not at Gate Town Bridge, she's probably at Bellum Church. So let's try Gate Town Bridge first. Okay. Because we do have like one extra grape we haven't fed her, and then another grape we haven't fed her. Yeah. Drops. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah, Hi Hyetta is over here. Um, I'm very confused about why the description of Vike's grape is specifically described. Like, feed it to her to complete her quest. Yeah, like you mm -hmm. don't even get the option. Like it's not like you get an option to do that beforehand. Yeah. Uh, um, I think she oh, says so she says something about it if you've already given her all the Shibuya grapes up to that point. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's a little more uh, oblique. Okay. Hello. Julander, thank you so much for the twelve Someone months. And G the B, thank you for the twelve months as well. Enjoy your nerd sub badges. I'm on a kind of fight. In search of the distant light. <laughs> And when I eat one of those grapes. So, give a Shibriri grape first, I guess? Yep. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can find the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shibriri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. <sighs> you get an option to just tell her they're human eyes. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, let's. No. That's not possible. That doesn't cancel oh, God, cancel her out of the entire pilgrimage, does it? Their own. So those noises I heard were. <laughs> you just wait till I tell you about my mate's sword here. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm all right now. <laughs> Don't mind me. Amazing. Oh wait, walk, walk away real quick. Walk away. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh sorry about God. that, folks. Um, <laughs> probably should have attached a mild trigger warning to that conversation, but here yeah, we are. Sorry about that, but no, the fact she's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, and as soon as you walk out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's probably one of the only interactions that has like a. A kind of follow up like that. I apologize. I'll be fine. Well, okay. There's. Okay, I guess. Okay. That's um, all we can do. Now, if we go to Bellum Church, she probably will have moved. So, if you want to give all her right. Vikes thing just to kind of get that out of the way, then let's let's go there. I am curious about her because she's like, oh no, I'll I'll become a finger maiden if I do this, and it's like, okay. We've been pretty maidenless up until now. Can we level up twice? We will see. We'll have to see. Um, I don't see her, so we might have to like sit at the grace and then uh, yeah. NPCs move when you do that sometimes. How many Vikes do we, do we really need to kill? <laughs> How many Vikes does it take to get to the middle of a Tootsie Pop or whatever? Um... Yeah. Normally she's here. Maybe we have to go and do something else and then she'll be back, but... Alright, what what else is on our... Uh, search for paintings. Awesome. Can we get the Kaled one already? <laughs> I mean, we can get, I believe, all of them. Mm. It's just a matter of, like, how easy they are to get. Yeah. Um... Right. Let's see... I figure... So we have Resurrection, we have Prophecy, we have Red Main. Do we? Those are the three I have. Okay, yeah. The Resurrection one is by some graveyard. Um... I'm pretty sure it's the academy, right? Yeah, it's facing kind of the back of Rhea Lucaria. And mm -hmm. I think, if I had to guess, it's around the back of Caria Manor. Sort of on the yeah, way... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yeah. some, somewhere in the northern area of the entire thing. Yeah, I think somewhere um, around, like, here, basically, if I mark that on the map. 
All right. Uh, it's not manor upper level. I think that leads there. It's like Rani's, uh, like Rani's rise. I think if we go to the the moon one. the moon gazing grounds one, we can just kind of go from there oh, around the outside yeah, wall because okay. that's yeah, like fair. right after the boss fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess um, uh, somebody in my chat is saying Hayetta, you probably need to talk to her a couple more times and then she'll move. But we can oh. uh, we can maybe go back and just like. Chat but no, it up we, a we tried. Bit. We tried. She doesn't say anything else. Well, I mean, she says something slightly different, but then it's like it's that weird thing of like you have to exhaust their dialogue until they're definitely repeating themselves. So oh. maybe we'll see. Um, anyway, we can uh, wander out of here this way. I wonder kind of what Black God's entire deal is. Yeah. Because he seems like just like, no, I'm just a guy. I don't know what, what <laughs> they want from me. <laughs> uh, so blatantly foreshadowing, like there's something going on. Oh my God, how many of you? It's these annoying guys who move around a whole bunch. Ah. Uh... <laughs> are those wolves? <laughs> those wolves are just like... Staring each other down. Now kiss! Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh. One hit wolves, huh? Mm hmm. The boss won't be happy about this, but you know. She's the off. She, her, oh! <laughs> she's off uh, <laughs> treading the dark path of the Empyrean or whatever. Mm hmm. Enjoy your frozen armaments, by the way. Thank you. In these, uh, like, 30 degree temperatures, <laughs> really appreciate it. Oh, there's a grace here. Oh, there is. Nice. Right, so the good, the good news is I do, I do be seeing, uh, what's it called? A graveyard. Yep. Really, I don't really see the academy itself, mind you. Then again, it's very foggy. Yeah, it's kind of a um, a poor visibility day. Oh no, there it is. It's kind of oh, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Ow. And there's more lads. What there is it? <laughs> Just there's a, this floating skull, right? That like floated by mm -hmm. and hit my hat directly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, watch the threads. I am kind of 90% hat though, so I yeah. guess that checks out. That's true, that's true. Yeah, I think maybe up here, like on the cliff somewhere, mm. we're getting in the right sort of direction. There are like these stones on the pictures. For sh on the picture yeah, for sure. yeah. <laughs> Look, either bring up a mariner or just stay dead, all right? <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of gravestones. Oh, over hey, here. look, there's a ghost. A ghost? There was a ghost in the chair here. Oh, did you find she it? Dropped a juvenile scholar cap, juvenile scholar robe, larva tear. Yeah, that must have been it. I'm pretty I sure that was it. I think it's the outfits that the uh, that the young, not the young, the, the sweetings that uh, do one rebirths. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, the little like uh, yeah, clones of her. Yeah. Let's take. I a also got dirty chainmail that these boys were wearing. So. Oh yeah, here we go. Camp worn by young academy scholars, the juveniles birthed anew by the amber egg of Queen Renala. Uh, yes. Their rebirth is not without imperfections, and thus do they repeat the process, eventually becoming utterly dependent upon it. Rebirth mm. is as sleep to them, and with each awakening, memory fades into oblivion. Creepy. Yep. What if you lived forever, but also only for one day? <laughs> yeah, basically that. It's just big brain time. Queen Renala just... I don't know what is it she's doing, but boy, is it not working. Also, did you get the um, Albinoric ashes from over here? Wait, those are Albinorics? Yeah, if you... Um... 
If you look at the albinoric ashes in the in the inventory. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Trying to. Yeah, those are albinorics. So they either not have legs at all or they're frogs. They they this uh the description of this one calls them second generation albinorics with dumpy heads. They also that are called a frog. strapping duo of cat <laughs> spirits. Good lads. Which like strapping this is young how lads. I want to be announced. Yes. When I go downstairs, it's like Rum pum rum pum rum strapping duo of <laughs> Cutwill and spirits. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the strapping duo. Oh, there's who... two freezing death. Mm -hmm. Breath. Second generation albinoers with dumpy heads that resemble those of frogs. So they're like made normal albinoics who are like. They're like. Well, we... I don't think that this project has legs. Yeah, they can just. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly what happened, actually. Also, there's a big do uh, uh, golden doggo over there. No, do, do, okay. Last one had a memory stone, so I'm assuming that this one also is going to have a memory stone. Hold on, let me attempt the thing that I always... That we wanted me to attempt last time. Oh, oh, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Ah, crap. Nice. Good heals, good hits. Clean oh, takedown. God, yeah. If I lo if I lose the rune, I lose the spell. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't like that. Well, all, I don't like. All that the more all. reason to keep uh, orbital lasering stuff, I guess. Wait, did it drop something? No, it doesn't seem to have. I think that one's just like a field enemy. So the other one being yeah, a. Well, I mean, come on, three thousand runes. Eh, yeah, not bad. And this guy has a golden rune on him. Um, if there's another, you know, none of the Radagon's dogs are surviving us, <laughs> we'll track down his entire pet collection. <laughs> oh, God. What's the guy done to deserve that? Well, aside from, you know, leave uh, leave Renala in basically a catatonic state with an egg. Um, <laughs> what kind of a divorce procedure does the throttle? I mean, divorce in the lands between is complicated. Also, um... The other thing that I noticed as we walk by is that there's um there's an Everjail over here. No <laughs> There is. The little the little friendos just popped into my vision for a second. Hell yeah. Let's go. I don't have any more wondrous physics, so this is gonna be a drain on my mana, but <laughs> uh, I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh yeah, this one's over here. It's a Dracula! Oh, it's those guys. Ow! <laughs> we had a, a sword swinging competition there that I won. You take out like a quarter of his health in one hit, so. Yeah, this guy's. Um... <laughs> I love that he decided to run towards you as you did that. <laughs> Great work. Um, yeah, you know. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. For giving me the satisfaction. Oh, I get a meteorite spell out yeah, of it. Yeah, I figured that one would be worth it. This, all the stuff in Leonia awesome. just gives you magic, magic, magic. So I was like, yeah, we can we can do this one. We can do this one. Right I mean, quick. I finally have the intelligence for it. So. <laughs> yes. Finally, I'm smart enough to use lasers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which, to be fair, you do need to be a qualified scientist. So some intelligence required. Um, Hold on. Sorry, mm -hmm. um, no problem. Um, yeah, yeah. I need to start using like normal swings on this uh, on, on this weapon because I am just draining my mana way too much for someone <laughs> who doesn't have that much of a you know mind. Yeah, points. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the thing about playing a, a Dex in build is you've really got to like spread your stats out a lot, so. Mm -hmm. And, and then some of the int spells require, like, 60 int. <laughs> so you're like, mm, I should maybe uh, maybe specialize yeah. a little bit. Well, in that way, you know, Moonvale is a godsend. Yeah. Um, okay. 
We did get one of the paintings. We know now that the uh, the Geo Geyser gives us ghosts. It gives us ghosts, and ghosts give us just unique gear yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it would be kind of foolish to not immediately try and go get the other two. That's fair. If we can, because like I was wondering, Red Main. Yes. Does, is it in the desert where you fight Radan, or is it somewhere else? It's above the desert where you fight Radan. And also prophecy, I can't even tell. Like, is this? It look. It, it's not Landel. Like this is this is Stormvale for sure, right? Yes, that one is a Stormvale. But it's also like which bridge it, is it? Because it's like you can see like a waterfall and like there's a little yeah, bit of ocean yeah, there. Um, yeah. So if you think back to places we've been around like the south coast of Limgrave, it's kind of looking at some of those. Yeah. It it does remind me of the like the Statin Castle. Mm-hmm. Uh but overlooking Statin Castle is only like Rampart Tower, Stormway Rail Cliffside and Lidside Chamber, I guess. Yeah, what it's I think it's actually looking at Stormvale itself just from like a much it's, further yeah. distance. So where would that be? Um, we find it in Storm Whale, so I must, I'd must i assume it would be in Lernia. Okay. Um, though, if you think about it, the shot, the shot, the shot, the shot, the shot, the shot. It is frustrating how much you have to click to find it. Um, the ocean is to the left of it, for what I can tell. Mm -hmm. If the ocean is to the left, then you are still in Storm Whale somewhere. Because if you were in Lernia, then the ocean would be to the right. So it has to be like... Uh, it can't be from the coastal cave, because that's from the coast, and the shot is not from below, mm -hmm. is it? And there's got to be a waterfall in there somewhere. We could go to yeah. the coastal cave, take a look around, see what else we can find in that region, and then try and triangulate yeah, it a little try... bit. Yeah, we could try from the Church of the Dragon Communion, but... I'm pretty sure it's too low for that, and it's way too far away. You would not see it. Well, let's see. Let, let's start there, Actually, and we can, can get a feel for how it looks. Yeah. Because I, I immediately am like, wait a minute. Is... Uh... <laughs> I immediately checked the first step, uh, Grace, because I was like, wait, Vare. <laughs> no, Vare is not there. Vare hasn't been there in a while now. Yeah, Vary's at the uh, church in Leonia still. I'm pretty sure. James, thank you so much for the dollar. Sorry I uh, couldn't say thank you earlier. Um, Zloy was um, talking. I am. Um, why Why can't we vote today? <laughs> um, I don't know. It feels like when I jump, the hut should give me like flawed time when I go down. Where are we voting to go to? Sorry. Uh, Coastal Cave. Oh, okay. Sure. I pick. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, uh, reminiscing about the the place Bog got beaten to death. <laughs> yeah. All right. So if we're looking from here, yeah, we're way too low, but that isn't really like anything waterfall re resembling. Hanging around the coast seems like a good start, though. Yeah. Just, you know, enjoying the beach. And just looking at the scale of the painting. <laughs> yeah. Like, it seems like close to accurate. Like, Stormvale, if anything, looks like it's probably even further away. Hmm. Further away down this line would be Church of Pilgrimage, maybe. Is the one, like, higher area. Like, on a cliff side. Or potentially, literally, just a stranded graveyard. Yeah. And yes, thank you so much for the tip. I really appreciate it. Uh, Sophie Rogan, again, is... Thank you so, so much. Let's try Church of Pilgrimage. Yep. Liara is just like screaming right now at the screen because she's the one that's good at Kijo, I guess. <laughs> mm. 
pattern about the like tinfoil sounds it's just the wind against my windows no no worries it's been yeah it's been really hecking hot lately and yeah uh, um i am ventilating and stuff thank you for fun streams oh i try i try well if anything it looks more like the red main painting now <laughs> yeah i have good news um huh? there's a waterfall over there Oh. Which would appear to be the one we've seen in the painting, I think. Um, right. So it's like... It's, what? Oh! <laughs> it's oh, okay. Oh, he's right there! He's literally in front what of us. What are you doing? Uh, my man, are you okay? He's even doing he like. Jittered, yeah, he jittered like doing a mo monkey pose. Warhawk ashes. So I assume those are the ones that hang around Stormvale, with like the yeah, the swords on the feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is an upgrade to our other pi other pigeon that we got. <laughs> yeah. If not the same, mind you. I do actually wonder what. No, no, that one was Stormhawk, and that was a particular one. Did... Wait, no, was it? We have uh, Stormhawk Dean. Mm -hmm. And then we That's, have... Uh, yeah, the Warhawk Ashes. Warhawk is the one that like... Yes, the talents of which have been sliced off so that a razor fine sword could be grafted in their place. So we have bird or mutilated bird. <laughs> yep. Basically. Bird or sharp bird. <laughs> yeah. And the regular bird somehow is more like high level spirit, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, just goes to show. Okay, 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 okay. Now Khalid, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what did catacombs? Or do uh, let's let's that? start there. I think. Yeah. I think that'll help us get our bearings. <laughs> My chat is having a conversation about uh, what people's worst subject in school was. Uh, <laughs> mine, <clears throat> mine was almost certainly history. Uh, chemistry and biology for me. Mm -hmm. Like, history, I at least kind of enjoyed as, like, a little bit of, a, like, you know, it's stuff that happened and we can learn from it, you know? It, uh, like, history to me was less history and more, like, this is how human people work in, in these circumstances, you know? Yeah. Societally. That being said, like, memorizing all the, like, uh, what's they're called? Uh, all the dates. Nightmare. Just so stupid. Yeah, yeah. Stupid. Uh, so it's definitely that, like, arrangement of rocks from around here-ish. We just need to get a little bit higher, I guess. Yeah, and thinking about what's, like, uh, above us. There's this, yeah, above us, there's... There's this kind of corner of Dragon Barrow that we just sort of haven't been one? to yet. Yeah, so maybe okay, we head up that um, way. Yeah, Dragon Barrow Cave, and we can... No, wait, 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 wait. Dragon Barrow Fork, I think, and that way we can pass. Like, the, the question is, can we pass under that bridge? Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm, I'm also wondering if there's... Because there's a dragon on one of the bridges that we might be able to fight now. Uh, oh. Yeah, there was, a, there was a big dragon on one of the bridges, and there's a regular dragon right by the fork. Mm -hmm. Right. Which I only bring up because... I don't know. <laughs> I do wonder how this stupid spell holds up against uh, a dragon. Hold on. Let's, let's do some experimenting. Yeah. Uh, dragons have a habit of just, like, yelling at you first, so uh, we'll see. Yeah. Om nom nom. And, uh... Oh, gosh. This, <laughs> this dragon's going to have a very unpleasant wake-up call. <laughs> I am... So missing it though, the funny hit. I mean, you're kind of shooting at the wing, in a sense, so. Yeah. Uh, how about now? Yeah, the problem with this guy is he is up. He is not staying, staying in the same spot. Which this spell is low key dependent on. Okay. Reshooting at this point. There we go. Nice. Eh, not, 
mind you, but... We done laser the dragon. <laughs> I'm a fire in the laser. <laughs> I Pre cannot do this. Yeah, pre pretty, pretty much what this spell is. How that, how did that meme like ever happen? Like, <laughs> who was just sitting there and like, I'm gonna record myself, scream growling at the top of my lungs, the exact line I'm fi firing my laser. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's the early 2000s and lasers are a very uh, inaccessible technology. Wow. We are pretty hefty when it comes to bears these days. Mm -hmm. Don't even oh, get me started on penguins. <laughs> we're not. We're not going into the. 2002 was a different time. Also, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Okay. Fair. Fair. Um. Yep. So I guess if we head up this way, we might be in roughly the right area. I'm sorry, I'm so annoying about like running everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want to enter the service of the witch running? Well, I have been running places. Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> you know what? I really should have been using a horse. <laughs> now that I think about it, that seems like a good idea now. Uh... Is there going to be another giant ball? The question is, why is there a giant ball in the first place? Uh... Well, if I were a betting man, there is a little, like, nipple-looking thing, so that's probably another rise for another wizard. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Because every single time so far there's been, like, a giant ball, it's yep. a wizard stuff going on. Ah! Yeah, that one's zeroed in on you for some reason. <laughs> yeah. They are so funny. They're just the comic timing on them. The, the fact that they fact can appear out of that nowhere. They have AI is what just truly messes yeah, yeah, with yeah. me. It's like why? Like people might have seen it, and if not, then you know, this this is only a very minor thing, and you might be able to find it from this description. But there's a video of somebody basically sneaking across a bridge in what I think is Noxtella, yes. and they're like up on the parapet, and this hold ball on, is hold like on, hold on, hold on. this ball is like rolling past them. Get up. Does Night Cavalry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does Night Cavalry. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? The, this um, is the Caleb Night Cavalry. It's probably going to walk right through us. So this very yeah, bad idea. I mean, it's it's Caleb. We've been to the Lake of Rot now. We're, we're pretty hench. I think we can manage this. I mean, you say that. I say that and do I'd say it again. Do rank bites uh, on us? I think we might do. Ow. Worth it. Ow. Yeah, the entire range life is just really not living up to it. Uh, with how much mana that it's through. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go to the world reliable for a little bit. Sure. I mean, it is really fun to do massive damage, though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very, very good. Oh, yeah, so the horse is dealing... is taking more damage than his health bar looks like. Yeah. So... We might be able to well, unhorse it. Well, it's the regular. I'll go remove this guy. Dehorse it, and... Uh, yeah. And then it's like a matter of one critical, hopefully. Nice. Oh, crit him! Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, I still got it. Crit this man. Ow. Oh, yeah, that's... Ow, I didn't dodge that. Ow. Dodge this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What do Chester, we get thank you for the 17 months. Come on, come on. Come on. Asher for Bloodhound step. Oh, that's... oh, cool. So I mean, it's kind. Of, it, it's the teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Spell. Yes. Isn't so, it? um, for a while, that's only really something you can have on a specific weapon, like the one you get from um, Dara Will's Everjail. Yeah. But uh, like, uh, like the, the the claws. Yeah, yeah, and and um, this is uh, one that you can apply to basically any weapon as long as it's compatible. So. 
I could put it on this weapon if this weapon didn't have like a baked in weapon skill that you can't change. We also have. Yeah, I, I, I'm 10,000 10, runes away from leveling up. That's cool. Um. <laughs> what? Well, it wouldn't be Kaled if, you know. You, you cannot have nice things in Kaled. Look at this. Just, yeah. They broke it. There's just straight up no riddle. Uh, then again, there is a spirit spring around the corner here, so... Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeet! <clears throat> What's this? I'm on the roof! <laughs> I don't know if this oh, is gonna do me any good. Wait, you can just jump straight up into the building? Uh, I'm on, like, the outbuilding part of it. I don't know if this really oh. gets me anywhere, except... Uh, dang it, I died. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there goes no. the rune arc. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's uh, let's let's give that another another shot. I'm just gonna rest at the grace to reset my uh, my rot. Oh, this leads to the dragon uh, dragon bridge as well. Okay. Not dealing with uh, that. I don't uh, know if I want to attempt that dragon. Am I runes gonna be on the roof now? That's awkward. Uh, wait, no, that's not how they. No, I mean, I, I. That's not how they do. I landed safely on the roof before. Yep, yeah, they're definitely on the roof. Okay, no worries. Oh, I will, uh, are we meant to jump onto that balcony you marked? Hang on one second. Boop. Yeah. yeah, my runes are like up here. Yeah, I overlapped. <laughs> Me, whenever I'm sleepy. <laughs> I overlapped. <laughs> I overlapped. Okay. Roof acquired. Yeah. So from here, I don't know if we can. Can we get down? Uh, I can. Yes. You just need to not horse. Unhorse yourself. That makes sense. Oh, and then I fell off the side. <laughs> okay. Let's try that one more time. Uh -huh. Sorry for laughing. It was I. I. Uh, you did that as I turned around. Yeah. I turned around. You just like, boop. <laughs> I'm having the hardest time with this for some reason. No, I haven't died yet. Like, I still have my rune arc and everything. I'm so happy. Admittedly, rune arcs, they, they drop from rats. Yeah, they do. Rarely, it's but they do. Fine. Well, yeah. Okay, what's down here? Love it if we, we turn the corner and immediately find another door that we could have gone through. Can we open the thing? Oh, this ball. Oh, yikes, there okay. There's more ball. It seems to be farted. I wonder what this does. Yeah. Not much. Yeah, they're actually kind of resistant to magic, which kind of makes sense when... Yeah, because they're made of... Yeah, you, you consider they're basically stuff. a ball of wizards. But they thought the the economy forbids it. I mean, admittedly, everything is like legally scale in Kaled. Okay. Yeah, it looks like whoever was here definitely uh, threw their rocks around. <laughs> Anyhow, I think we should be able to get up from here. I don't know if we can like open the entrance to it, but mm -hmm. I also like the fact that you know. Oh my God! You know what? I just like it. It just the thought occurred to me. Yeah. You know how you told me that like. Radan learned gravity magic to be able to still ride his favorite horse, even yeah. though he's giant. Mm -hmm. Imagine if Radan didn't. Imagine if horse did. <laughs> the horse learned gravity <laughs> because magic. Because the horse had to learn the gravity magic to lift Radan up <laughs> yeah. and levitate him. I'm pretty uh, sure his horse's name is like Leonard or something as well. That is such a stupid name for a horse. It's a very good or name. Or any animal, really. Yeah. It's like way too serious to be an animal name. Yeah. Memory stone. Memory stone. That makes I up for the one that we didn't get from like the, an... the giant fox. Aww. I do wonder if there's uh, some sort of a... What is it called? If there's some sort of a... Actual puzzle to this rise like that you can solve i'm pretty sure it's just you parkour in i don't think there's well, a yeah it, it's but after the the last one i am like huh 
It would be funny if there's like something you can do to actually uh, open the door. The legit way. Which, yeah, we cannot, by the way. So there's no use going back to the door. Um, yeah, yeet. Yeah. Anyway, and... we were here specifically to do the the red main uh, painting. And we can't move too far away from it. Yeah, it looks sort of like... Um, is, if we, we need to get closer and or lower. Back over there to is that like a tree down there, but I don't think that that's a, you know, head, a, a, an option. Let's head back over to the minor Erd tree. Because okay. we've beaten the Erd tree avatar there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we did that. So, uh, whoop. Oh wait, no, I was, I was thinking I just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. fine. Oh no! Wait, we can't just jump. I forgot. Yeah, that's 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 why I was saying we can we can just like leap. And there's also a little like graveyard of runes if we wanted to get some extra. Oh, I already stole everything from it. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Yeah, the first time we discovered. <laughs> when you uh, summon the horse when I'm not looking at it, it doesn't render for me even when you're riding it later. I think that's why uh, the invisible horse thing happens. Yeah. Yeah. The game being like, you can't prove to me that there is a horse. Yeah. Like, it's... Right now, it's my headcanon that uh, Urgul Blooms just... They don't attract lightning, but they grow where lightning is striking. Yeah. And the reason lightning is striking there is specifically because uh, Ed Tree has, like, a discharge to it. Hmm. Like, some sort of a... Because... I don't think that this lightning is, like, lightning. I think it's just magical spell kind yeah. of, like, unloading itself a little bit. It kind of creates the weather pattern sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, there is that... Oh, there's no no hacking way. Isn't there? No. It so, took half my horse, but it did work. Yeah, yeah. Crap. Pre pretty, Can pretty, you uh... bypass Radan's battle to get to the catacombs from here? <laughs> I don't. I don't think you can. I don't There's think it is. There's blue and glowy down there. There certainly is. Yes. Oh my god! This is this goddamn game. Incidentally, I will tell you just so that you know. Uh, yes, we are headed the right way. This is this is where yeah, the other yeah, painting yeah. is. Well, there's no freaking way. Because I remember this exact column at some point. Yeah. That I was looking at and was like, I'm pretty sure that this is where you need to get, but there's no way to get there. Uh, it turns out there is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, the next jump is this one. What? Or alternatively, you jump down to that branch and then you make your way to this, but it's... um. Uh. Oh, the, okay, okay. I mis I mis misjudged how far down this is. Okay. Ah! okay. Oh, praise the, praise the dexterity. So, um... What's the glowy thing? We'll, what kind we'll, of enemy is We'll that? deal with the glowy thing in a second. It's a glowy blue golem! Yep. It's a Pepsi variant! <laughs> it is a Pepsi variant. Uh, I think okay. maybe somewhere around this spot here. Or maybe on the next one over. I'm pretty sure the guy is here. It, th this place looks like it, it is, but there isn't the guy. There, there he is. There he is. Having oh, his... Oh, uh, there it is. They're, they're, doing like, they're doing the Kodak moment thing, where it's like the <laughs> they're making the frame with their hands. Oh, I never noticed. Yeah. Thank you, Citrus. Ash of War, Reign of Arrows. That's an Ash of War. Yep. For uh, bows, I suppose. Mm hmm. So you can basically yeah. do the Radan bow thing. I got really excited there because I thought that this was. Uh, what's it called? That it was. Um, a spell. I like that this golem also seems to have fallen on a guy. <laughs> No, I am not doing much. I don't like that. I'm not doing much. Yeah. How much health does this guy need? Quite a lot, Ow! it turns out. 
Heck! Dang it! So about this guy. Uh What about him? If uh no, I thought I thought he was going to do something. This guy has like a a slightly different move set to some of the other golems. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, and I managed <laughs> to managed to stop him just before he did it. So this is um This guy is kind of infamous. Why? Because of how tough he is? Yeah. Does he have a move where he just like eats you off of the balcony? No, but uh... uh does he have a move where he eats himself off of a balcony? I will see if he'll actually do it this time because I kind of interrupted him mid-move. Uh. Yeah, leaping out of the I way of that one like always the, fun. Yeah, I don't like the extra, you know, stone tossing. Oh, there we go. He <laughs> yeah. bited you. He baited you. He pretended to cut uh, cut him stagger. And then we staggered <laughs> we him again. We interrupted him on the same exact. Place. I know. I know. I'm. I feel bad. Uh, I don't. I want to leave. I'm talking a big game about this guy, and I kind of want to. Have you see what I'm talking about? Okay. So let's hang back for a second. Let him yeah. wi wild out, you know. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't have much health, I'm pretty sure we can get him. Well, he looks disappointed, but not surprised. He's also got his legs covered in, like, okay. cuffs. Oh. Okay, so, uh,. This is why this guy is known as the uh, laser oh. golem. Ah, a kindred spirit, I think. He too is firing his laser. Mm hmm. Wow, I am glad that we staggered him against that attack on every single yeah, yeah. opportunity. <laughs> nice. The final rock sling hit him right into the ass. Mm hmm. I just wanted to point that out. The best thing about that is that you get like a normal amount of runes for it, like he's a basic golem and you don't get any extra items aside from this guy having a rune arc. And so people are like, that fight was really difficult and like I got nothing for that, why? And people are just like, okay, yeah. high five and move on. Yeah, kind of. Having the pillars again, around all, helps. I mean, but... you can't really, you know, go away from here, there's nowhere to go. Yes, yeah, that's the other so thing. The only way is to warp, but you cannot warp without, like... I mean, admittedly, he's just laying there, you know, he's not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you can kind of just walk in, see the guy laying down and be like, nah, I'm good, and warp out. So, um, we've got all the paintings now. That's, <laughs> that's something I didn't expect us to do right away. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there's an artist shack in Limgrave we never went to. Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah, no, I know the one. Yep. I know the one. Um, so, mist with outskirts, and we'll just go up the road from there. Yeah. The the favorite road, the one where a troll does a little roly-poly thingy. Yes. Love that guy. Always a joy to see. He's having so much fun. <laughs> It's always so funny coming back to Limgrave when you're, like, late game and just see yeah. all the dudes walking around being like, you used to give me trouble with your torch. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys with the daggers. Mm -hmm. The spear guy still sucked, though, is the funny bit. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just have to check if I'm moving in the, in the right direction. Yeah, we are. Up the hill and to the right. 
I do like Kaiden Riders, mind you. They're fun. They like, got, I they like got the, uh, they the... are tough, but they are more fun than they are a pain. Yeah, they got the stylish fur coats. They've got the move where they yell yeah. and then swing their sword. And the um. It's fun to take them out as soon as they start yelling. Yeah, the fun thing about barbaric roar, the skill they have, is that it actually changes the move set of some of your weapons. Really? So um, yeah, like you get a different heavy combo, uh, if you if you do barbaric roar first for a lot of weapons. At that least the basic so cool. ones. So, um, it, it pairs really nicely with some stuff. So now we I have... No. <laughs> okay. Homing now Instinct. Have... This is the one I do know where it is. Okay, cool. Not only because, like, this is the one I found at single player. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Seaside Ruins. Yeah, I, think I, like I, re I remember it being around there. One, yeah. Um, I remember Bats... But it's also like it's the one where organically on my own in single player. Found it, realized what it was, and immediately knew the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also it's the only one that I got that way. <laughs> Every other one I'm like, what the hell am I looking at? Um, which oh, admittedly this probably is meant to be the starter one. It occurs to me we also haven't talked to Yura for a while. <laughs> I forgot he was even in the game. Yeah, he's he's back here under the archway now. Now that we've uh, fought the dragon and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's one of... I think it's that arch in particular. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's the grave. There's the grave that's in the painting. And there's the guy. Oh, he is jittering for me now. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, he's... I especially like that his gesture, if you approach him in the exact, like, right way, is he's pointing directly at the man bats that are chasing you. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. No, dude, turn around! Turn Behind around. you! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, you are then. Yeah, uh, you should just be over there. Something about putting him on ice, yada yada. yada. <laughs> no. I don't know anime. I've not, I've not watched an anime in like so long if you don't count Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Me either, actually. I haven't really watched that much anime lately. I've been getting into Ted Lasso lately is what I've been watching. What? <laughs> it's an Apple TV show about uh, an American guy who comes to England to coach a football team. And it's actually pretty good. That sounds, so, that sounds so like 90s. Is there a dog who plays basketball? <laughs> there is a dog in season two, but uh, the less said about that, the better. Um, he's just talking to me about the dragon thing now. So um, Yeah, he's telling me that, like, listen, if you eat enough dragon, you can be dragon. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, dragon, my balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still funny. Still funny. So... Um, yeah, there is some other stuff that happens with Yura. I just get, I think we have to go to a specific place first, but, um, no, no, okay. no hints, no spoilers. Did Can we... we tell him about the Anastasia, the Tanish Cheater? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've already dealt with her, I think. Um. Is there any, like, Dragon Communion contentions you want? I don't think I have the stats for them. You need more arcane for them. Oh. Like, it's, it's faith, but it's also arcane. And, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough. I'm not watching that League of Legend uh, advertisement. <laughs> okay then. So that's that. Search for paintings. Staircase in Noxtella, Poison Castle, Valiant Gargoyles, or maybe try to get into Lane though. I yeah, like yeah. how that is phrased. Um, incidentally, um, I did just notice we haven't ever done the Storm Hill Everjail with the Crucible Knight in it. Oh yes, let's go. Let's do that. Let's go to Stormhold That one Shack. was, like, way too tough for us, I guess, uh, but... Not anymore, guess, baby! <laughs> yeah, my guess would be we can walk through the guy. And yeah. if, we, if we cannot, then I can just at least laser him. Yes. No, the, this guy This guy is both eminently laserable and a lot squishier than he looks because the first time you find him can just be, like, before you fight Margit. <laughs> so... Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's been a while and we you are tougher. You find him, uh, he kills the, the crap out of you, you go on to fight Margit and Margit just dies in one swing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 50 hacking intelligence and I still 
am absolute garbage at navigating. <laughs> yeah, that's... If only you could tie, like, the coherence of the map to your own in-game stats. Nah, that would just mean that in the beginning of the game, I, I suck even more. Just disoriented, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still upset that, like, there's a way... Uh, there was a way to learn it the entire time, and I didn't find it. Like, it's right there by the finger reader crone. It's just... Ah! By the finger reader crone saying, Hey, maybe you don't need bridges. <laughs> it's yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, well. Okay. Ultimately, you see the bridge is broken. You kind of think, well, I I shouldn't go that way because that's not how bridges work. And then... Well, not uh, even that. I took her saying that as, like, go through Storm Vale. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chagalaga and... Uh... I'm going to buff just for the sake of... Uh... Good, good, good. Uh, crucible. Crucible neat. Yeah, um. So, sir, please stop moving. I am trying to, uh, do you. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I mean, you are. <laughs> well, that's just sad. Here, I'll bring him into your trajectory. Whoop! Yeah, you, you did that a little bit too well, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I it's was okay. I have other ways of dealing with people who are not facing me in the slightest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all I was trying to do was create a vector. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tail. Yay! And twenty-one hundred runes, which at the time feels like a small fortune, but. Uh, mark your calendars. This is the day Zloy finally got tail. <laughs> okay. I hate myself so um, much. <laughs> Veeminator, right. thank you for the 15 months. Uh, right. Yo. We've done that. Now I can finally mark this guy off as dead. There we go. So. Back to our to-do list. Um, yep. We could go and... Make sure we've exhausted Hayata's dialogue so she moves. Yeah. Let's let's quickly go and do that because that's like one other thing that allows us space to think about what we want, actually want to do next. Mm -hmm. I do want to check out the, the the awful poison castle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It we seems can... level for us, and it's a very like interesting looking area on the map. I have no idea what it actually looks like on the thing. Yeah. But like, it's rare for the game to just blatantly be like, "This is a swamp." Yeah, I this think poison swamp. maybe we can start at Erd Tree Gazing Hill and then go down into that valley, make our way up, and we'll we'll see how far we get. Well, honestly, I'm Loki hoping. Oh, is that you over there? Hello. I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat, the distant light. It's because you don't got any. Yeah. <laughs> So faint it can't be you are what you eat, you. and I wanted to be eyes. It appears. Finally, it I really sense. feel like you I'm don't need, did, ne never had to eat them in the I first place. A finger maiden. I've I'm certain now. She's gonna die, is she? <laughs> so, okay. um, Bellum Church, now she should be there. <laughs> Alright, cool. And then that's kind of on the way to... Uh... Let's bell all of them. Selen, that's the one thing I forgot. Yes, yeah, that's that's another Selen. thing that's she she's in Limgrave. I mean, I hope she is. She's also in uh, in the Whipping Peninsula. Yeah, <laughs> that too. That's the, that's the confusing part. That too. Okay. Oh, there she is. Yep. It's her camouflage. She's camouflaged with that. <laughs> yeah. Is that you over there? Yes, it's have us. How did you get here so fast? <laughs> have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? Not only did we just kill a guy who gave us one, we also have like three of them in our inventory as talismans. Yep. I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Yeah, funny you say that because I'm pretty sure you're gonna, you know, go mad. With him as well. Oh. Still, here, have one. Grape. 
Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint great. <laughs> How sweet. Yet, how it burns. Thank you. Lady. I've composed myself again. You're, you know, your digestive system is gonna have the awfulest time. Yeah, she's, she's not. It's just Cheeto powder. It's I'm just sweet. eyeballs with Cheeto powder on them. My heart. I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Okay, so that's, uh, you know. I have some prawn. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to? You want to? You, wanna, uh, you need a you chaser. Eat normal things. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, uh, well, well. When you'll be a finger? Okay, okay. Head cannon. She becomes finger maiden. Goes to the prawn guy. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <like> <laughs> offers guidance, but to him. Open a um, restaurant. Yeah. Um, no. So we can go see Selen. Do you want to do that now, or do you want to go north and go to? Uh, the poison castle. Mm. I'm. A, I don't know how long the poison castle is gonna take, and I was pretty curious about what's up with Selen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, like, remember that one butthole I pointed out? <laughs> yes. On the on the way, basically, I feel to the to the yes. poison castle. What I'm saying is, poison castle is kind of a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm getting the impression Selen is also going to be quite a uh, quite a few, quite a bit. So let's go de deal with whatever it is she's saying. Okay, cool. Um, there she is. Oh, that straight up crashed my game. Yikes! Oh, <laughs> good. So, so you see, Selen, that's what happens when you are in the two freaking places at once. <laughs> Yeah, we've caused a temporal paradox, it turns out. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, folks, we'll be back in just a second. Well, you say temporal, my game is, you know, frozen, so... Yeah, yeah, it makes <laughs> as, sense. As for me, it is definitely a permanent paradox. If it just you kicks know you what? from the world. You know what, would be a good time to... Take I actually your... did teleport to Waypoint Ruins somehow. Nice. Um, take a quick break, maybe? Yeah, take a quick break, reload everything... Uh, return to desktop, yada yada. Yeah. And uh, I have a whole entire child to relocate from one bed into another. Fair. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, Go ahead and do that. Yes. I will. I'll. I'll That's be here it. talking to my chat for a little bit. So uh, we'll Aww. be uh, on mic right. still. But uh, yeah, I'll. Mm -hmm. I'll get over to Waypoint Ruins in game, and I'll reopen the world so that you can rejoin okay. when you're ready. I'll get unmuted as soon as I go, go back. But, Perfect. Uh, enjoy my be right back screen. Uh, there it is. <laughs> And the game should be back in a second. There we go. All right, folks. A lot of lot of things we're checking off the list today. Uh, once again, big thank you to Viminator, Chester Copperblock, James for the dollar, uh, Julander, G the B. Thank you so much for the resubs. Got to make sure I reopen the world here. What other Souls games have I played? None of them. Elden Ring's the only one I've played. I own Sekiro now. I bought it in the Steam sale recently, but I have not played it yet because I just like this game too much. <laughs> I don't know if I would have time right away. I gather Sekiro is very different, though. It's more like um, precision combat action game than this, which is much more open world exploration. Yeah, faster. Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. I would love to play the whole Dark Souls series, though. Uh, I would also like to play Bloodborne, but Bloodborne is only on PS4 and 5, I want to say. There is a, uh, I think, a free-to-play PS1 demake of Bloodborne, but I don't think that's quite the right experience to start with. Yeah, I would love to play uh, play more of them. It's about having the time, though, really. Like, I played Elden Ring almost, like, justifying it to myself, saying I'm going to use this as architectural inspiration for a Minecraft series and world-building inspiration for a Minecraft series. So, um, yeah, I learned a lot from that, but I, uh, I don't know if I can just do that again for Dark Souls or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
wonder when the PC port of Bloodborne will arrive. I'm hoping they do one at some stage. I wonder if they're going to do like a PS5 like upscale remaster or something for it. Because I know they remastered Demon's Souls, but that's a much more, a much older game. Should we go back on the rune arcs? I think so. I think I might as well. I've only died accidentally once. <laughs> the funny thing about rune arcs is that you you are better off using them for just like the running around general gameplay than you are for like bosses where the stat increase would actually be helpful. <laughs> Dark Souls has a co-op mod. Yeah, I, I mean we could we could play more games like this co-op, but. I'm also kind of interested in playing Elden Ring co-op with some other people, because I know the game well enough that I just want to experiment with builds. I, I'm not done with this game. And then the DLC is coming out. And, uh... Yeah, some people asked on the last stream. I think I read the chat afterwards when I was, like, re-watching the stream. Some people asked if I was planning on playing the DLC for this when it comes out. Uh, yes. I don't know if I'll play it on stream. And I don't think we'll be able to play it in co-op right away until the mod updates. So, um, yeah. I think I'll probably go ahead and do that with whatever character I'm playing at the time, you know? I don't know what the, um, prediction was, Lee. I can probably, I can probably give you a ruling on what will my first death be? A boss, some other monster, environmental hazard, oops. Uh, it was definitely oops. <laughs> It was not necessarily an environmental hazard. It wasn't like a guillotine came down on me or I got crushed by a boulder or something. It was very much like I fell off the roof. <laughs> wasn't even in an area where you would expect to die, so... The oops has it, I believe. Yeah, it was much more like... I didn't know how to get off this roof. I tried to go in a direction I shouldn't have, and... Uh, yeah, the horse basically fell to its death with me along with it. I had an idea, a very, very bad idea, where I want to try and do, like, a playthrough of each weapon in Elden Ring and try and, like, specialize in each weapon just to find what I like about some of them, right? And you could do that by category. You could do that like a daggers playthrough, a swords playthrough, like a great swords, whatever, epes, that kind of thing, katanas. They're into like little distinct categories. But then I thought there are some that like are kind of unique and there are some that you could just work through. And so I was like, what if I did like a playthrough and tried to specialize in a sword with each kind of playthrough in alphabetical order? And the reason that's a problem is because in alphabetical order, the first thing I think is Academy Glintstone Staff, which is in Ray Lucaria. We got one today. And then the second one is Alabaster Lord's Sword, which is what I got from fighting the Alabaster Lord in the Lake of Rot on the last stream. So what I'm imagining is <laughs> a playthrough series where I have to get to the second Legacy Dungeon and then the Lake of Rot <laughs> before I can get any further. And I'm like, there's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> But there's some really fun weapons. Like, I really want to spend more time just doing weird specialist builds for stuff. Like, I've never really played around with the um, the Wakizashi dagger. And, like, that plus the katana is such a cool look that I really want to give that a go. Do, like, a samurai build with those. And then there's stuff like this where it's, like, you can two-hand these and they're supposed to be, like... Really neat. You kind of have the uh, Grafted Scions moveset with those. I've never done any of the stuff with, like, Sword of Night and Flame or anything, so I really need to play around with more of these. Hey, welcome back. Hello. Sorry I took so long. No, it's um, fine. It's fine. I was just uh, chatting to people about my, my dumb ideas when it comes to this game. <laughs> I, I, had, I had this vague idea of, like, there are so many weapons in this game, and I kind of want to try and do, like, a playthrough with each weapon somehow. 
and then I'm like, we could do that in alphabetical order, and then it turns out that the second one on the list is a sword I got from the Lake of Rot on our last stream. So I'm like, I can't start oh. with that sword. <laughs> yeah, no. Anyway, there's many weapons in this uh, game, and uh, hold on. Wait, no, I can't. I, I have to actually join you. Never mind. Pretend I didn't say it. <laughs> Are your cats fighting? My cat? I don't. I'm not sure. <laughs> Presidential alert: the cats are fighting. Yeah, they might be fighting, they might be playing, they are cats. Yeah. I will... Mm. It's fair. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of weapons in this game, and at least half of them are attached to this one. Yeah. <laughs> this the, this <laughs> one accounts for at least 12. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's no way... What's up, Tarry and Shield? Like Welcome in. Anyway, holy crap, it takes so much to, to wield. Yeah, you say that, but I've got 36 strength just casually now, so I'm doing all right with... Uh, mm -hmm. And, and that's with the Blasphemous Blade, I mean... Yeah. Okay. Hi, Selen. There you are. Care to elaborate? Shall we commence the lesson? Show Azure sorcery. What's this sorcery, Hold on. my Is there apprentice? anything she can still teach me that... Ah, then you have seen Scholar's Master Armament, Azur. I pretty much know. Master Crystal Azur Bridge. No, I know sorcerer. all this stuff, what the hell. And my first uh, show, teacher. Show hands. Soon judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both Are proud. You... We can speak more later, my apprentice. Yeah, I think the grafted greatsword is very Game of Thrones. Tell me your story, just straight up. Yeah, just <laughs> just go for it. We can speak more later. Nah, now. Now. If you record, What's your deal? I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Blinstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want mm. Glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos. She got kicked off for <laughs> for cooking meth. She can't <laughs> for playing for practicing <laughs> magic too hard. Yeah. Student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Let us join you together and think about it. Okay. I already am dragging around like an albinoric woman, <laughs> a jellyfish I promised to take places. Too long since I found a fellow G get in there, spirit. become a fascist. You must have a fabulous teacher. Yeah, Fops is alright. T turns out she uh, she doesn't quite mean it in the same way that Latena means it, unfortunately. But it does kind of sound like she's about to join. Like you get Selen joined the party as like a yeah exactly an NPC. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, ask this favor or whatever. Yeah. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone. Wait, he's still alive? And like Master Azure, he was banished from the academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. Hmm. I need Still him to restore the right primeval right. current of glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. You keep saying primeval current of sorcery. Didn't that you at no point explain what the hell that actually is? Mm -hmm. After uh, his expulsion from the academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Mm. Thinking about it, I obtained the glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. <laughs> Sela and Kaelid. 
I love it when that happens. Um... The best thing about this sword is that all the little hands look like they're kind of pulling any loose fibers out of my fur coat collar and keeping it clean. <laughs> They're just kind of like... a symbiotic relationship with it. It's it's basically... Yeah, it does kind of look like Carnage, in a way. Like, it looks kind of like oh, one of yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the Marvel like the symbiotes. Spider -Man yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit. Um, so, yeah, uh, basically... I like to think that they're all, like, always going, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Tiny dudes. <laughs> so, um, we can go to Celia, I guess. Um, it, it might be a little... Uh, too much to assume that the sorcerer that she got the seal breaking key from was just Gowrie. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how Actually, that works. I'm, wait, Gowrie is back. I mean, he's there, yeah. We never talked to him after, uh, yeah, because when we went there, right, remember? Mm -hmm. We went there and what's her face was there. Millicent was there, yeah. Millicent was there, but Gowrie wasn't. And now Gowrie is back. Let's go to so Southern he Ionia. did not just go away. He legitimately avoided her. Yeah. I thought he just left. No, he still lives here. He was probably, you know, hiding in the floorboards the entire time. Shaking his his fist angrily at my Sir Gary impression. Yeah, pretty much. Well, this, this calls for a outfit change. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's back. All right. Um, oh, incidentally, oh, there's, no! a, <laughs> there's, Fix. there's a night boss over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, night boss. This... Kill it. Be normal for like 10 minutes challenge. <laughs> Brackets Difficulty impossible. Difficulty impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? So like that's a death bird, but it's not like a death bird that like we know of. It's a death bird with actual wings this time, huh? What are our chances? Uh, pretty good, I Kowalski. think. Kowalski. <laughs> <Yeah>. Analysis. <laughs> run, the, run the numbers. I think we got it, yeah, boss. Okay. I'll try to, you know, Azure comment at it, but uh, I might die for this. <laughs> Ow! Oh wow, that actually didn't do that much damage. Yes, it's it's still a Kalid bird. <laughs> he's oh, he's real mad up. at you. He's real mad at you for shooting his butt. I am cheesing everything thanks to you, Blue and the Agra. Oh sure. Again, we oh, we have wow. we've already determined that this is uh, a little point, bit yes. a little bit broken broken the uh, breaking broken. the balance. It's broken. It's <laughs> we've already established that English is difficult. So. Um, Okay, yeah, it has anime style attacks. Oh, heck that. <laughs> it has like Gurren Lagan level attacks. Um, it is very nice scene. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Death fight, God. This one has the right. <laughs> it does, and now we have it. <laughs> it has the right. Had. <laughs> what did they win? Death. <laughs> <laughs> you you won at poker. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> what death uses to stoke the fires in hell or wherever? It is literally the the, the fire poker though. Like look at this. Ah. It's kind of got like great sword style move set. Oh. The hell is that? Neat. Seems fun. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Uh, I do need to level up before I forget that I have Yeah, yeah, good, good, good plan, good plan. I am fully in favor of this. Dude, my. Anyways, uh, Sage Garu, remember how, like, um, everyone whose quest line we exhaust. Um, ends, up, ends up dying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, and me just with the death, death poker, like, showing up, like, it, I, I can't, I'm here to break your shins. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm here to peeky your blinders. Um, let's, I guess, head into Celia, then? There's also uh, a dragon further along this road I don't think we've killed yet. 
I am a little bit. Wait, which, 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 this, this direction? Yeah, back that way, yeah, past the merchant. Yeah. Oh, there's also a knight cavalry here? <laughs> oh, what? for real? Okay, yeah, no, I didn't think, I, I Kaelid, how many, <laughs> how come mom lets you have two knight cavalries? I, um, I couldn't remember if we'd killed this one yet or not. Yeah, the dragon is just past him as well, so that's pretty funny. Amazing. Uh, so this is a boss, boss rush now. It basically is, yeah, yeah. We've kind of gone the uh, the completionist route all of a sudden. Also, this guy is nowhere near as bad as the Dragon Barrow one. And that's okay. saying something, because the Dragon Barrow one was not that bad. Good to hear, because I cannot hit him. <laughs> it's because you're trying to hit him with a laser from space or whatever, so... The horse is basically... Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's got... Sorry. To call it iframes would be a little bit generous, but he's definitely got some... He's easy uh, being killed. He uh, let's put it that way. Doesn't have a lot of collision during the crit. And we fell. Yeah, nice. Ashafar, <laughs> poison the moth flight. Poison moth flight is very extra. I mean, the name alone. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I want to go to the grace just to fill my one flask that allows me to, you know, unlimited power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's, that's what the Comet Azure needs, really, is the user just going, ah, <laughs> as you, like, fire no, it. No, no, you will <laughs> die. <laughs> unlimited power. Why am I living in that? No. Um. Okay. Doing the flasks, getting the stuff. Uh, if you say if you say dragon, let's go dragon, I guess. It's fine because yeah, night cavalry dragons, yeah, that I'm still not messing with those freaking Kelly birds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the crows are still uh, too menacing. They are horrifying. Yeah. Then again, this is a rot dragon, as you can probably tell from the surroundings. So uh, now that I specialize in all of the fire stuff. I might uh, ah, shouldn't be an issue. Yes. Might be able to do a little bit of damage. One thing I will say about this one is the uh, the breath attack is really rough. So um, bear that in mind as we immunize. Yeah. Okay, I got golden vow. Golden vow incantation, but in, like whenever you use it, it does the. Owen Wilson, wow, son. Yeah. <laughs> it like literally turned his head around into directly into my knee. Did I just do like. <laughs> collectively, we just did like 12k damage to this thing, and I think it's. Yep, immediately doing its awful attack. Oh, wow, that is. That is rancid. The yep. vibes. The vibes have become. Unbearable. No amount of Pops shield is gonna fix this. Alright, there we go. Something about that killing a dying lizard is... Uh... Well, now it's farted, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the... Uh... Leg attack there is a little bit dangerous. I mean, all the attacks are dangerous. They're attacks, but... It's a, dra it's a dragon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, any dragon still nukes me in one swing, so... The trick is... Not letting them hit, I guess. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love the image of this dragon, like, flying up into the air and preparing to swoop down on you, and you're just like, Oh, come on! <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's such a weird, like... I know, right? What are you... No. Ow. Leap! <laughs> oh. Somehow that knocked me down? What? Okay, I think he's gone too far out of the arena, so he's going to respawn yeah, here. He's, he's yeah, there we go. Behind you. <laughs> the music stopped. This is the first time when a boss left. Yeah. Screw this, I'm out, Dragon Boss. A 
Okay, managed to get a hit in before he he bailed me. Up, nice. Up, 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 up. Get the kill, get the kill. Try and try and try and try and. Oh, come on, let me add. Crit him. Nice. Rescue that guy. <laughs> and there he goes. Decaying I. <laughs> what a name. Well, that was cinematic as hell. And uh, mm -hmm. now we hell have his yeah. heart. Amazing. Delicious. Comet Azure is another one of those screw you, I win buttons. Yeah, as long <laughs> as you don't, as long as you agree not to move. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fascinating argument. However, Comet Azure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's grace in here. I can sniff it. Oh crap! No, 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 no. There's grace, but also a guy. Oh. <laughs> the, the grace have been the guy. The guy also gives you his flasks back, so. Oh go. my god, that cot piece on the armor is uh, <laughs> ambitious to say the least. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was. A, a while back, I think I included it in the the montage of like us fighting guys in Stormvale, and then I died and respawned, yeah. and the guys, the guys' junk was directly in my face. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, he's gonna respawn in a second when we do this, but oh, it's okay. He doesn't seem too bad. I'm sure we can, you know, find common ground. Also, the dragon gave us like Wait, 35k, level, 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 so level, like level, yeah. Level, 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 level. <laughs> I'm probably going to crush oh, I can straight up level up. this. I'm still main in intelligence and at least until I'm 60. Yeah, that's fair. Off age or off level. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, maining it, I'm maining intelligence until I'm retirement age. Um, cool. So, uh, but also, it just occurred to me. Uh, Azure, the guy that uh, got, gave us the spell. Mm-hmm. He's alive. I mean, kinda. He's, he's mostly al he's like thirty percent crystal, but yeah, he's I because I didn't even realize he wasn't a corpse. Yeah, like he's actually he just gives you the spell instead of talking to you. Yeah. Don't really got a whole so lot of room for words we can go anymore. Fight him. <laughs> um, I don't want to because again, one of the founders of the Glintstone sorcery. Heck that. Uh, but just the fact that, like, you know how, like, if you attack Vare, he starts fighting back? Yeah, uh... Like, the guy probably does that. I haven't considered it, <laughs> actually. Not certain if you can. Hmm. I mean... You should be able to at least kill him. I mean, you could probably do that, yeah. Yeah, and if you can kill him, then prob he probably fights back. And if he fights back, he probably uses spells. Uh, so, you know. Which would make him just... He he the turns worst. in he turns into basically the Renala equivalent of like the Godefroy yes. ever jail. It's just like Renala's move set, but in a different place. The guy was his name, uh, not Desir, but the other. Lusat. Uh, just, Lusat shows up as like foul trespasser. <laughs> yeah, I'm not this crap again. <laughs> Smoldering with the flame of ambition. <laughs> Well, look who's here. Okay. Ah, welcome. What up? Welcome. Do do tell, my man. How may I help? No, he just chilling. Sorcerer. Yeah. You can start the sorcery completely. Awesome. Huh. Okay. So. We haven't seen Millicent since she left, right? We met her here, I think. Yeah, but like after that, she's like, "I'm leaving," and then I well, don't think yeah. we've seen her since. We, yeah. We've not seen her. No, I'm trying to open the map to see if she's at the Church of the Plague, and she's not. No, like no, her, she. Her character is not there. She goes on a bit so... of a ramble after that. Got got a second lease on life, so yeah, of course she's gonna travel. Um, right. 
so what was Salon's entire deal? Like, uh, she bought the key from some guy in here. But unfortunately, all the guys we met here are ghosts. Yeah. So. Basically, um, all she knows is Lusat is somewhere around this area. And not necessarily even the town, just like the area in general. But she got the key off of a, a mage who was, I guess, alive? Yeah, I remember there was an alive mage, I think, somewhere by the Church of the Rot, of the Plague. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we can go up there. He was, like, it struck me because he was the only actual guy chilling. Yeah. Everyone else was, like, a pest. Mm-hmm. Everything in this game is a pest. <laughs> As though you haven't died once, bravo. I mean, I've not been taking any risks at all is the, the trick. Yeah, you We've have been, been either traveling areas that are, like, way under level for us, or I've been letting pigs deal, you know, melee damage and, you know, walking out. You haven't been doing any of the uh, brave horse roof parkour that I've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's led to my demise on several occasions. Okay, so that's not him. Nope. <laughs> Excuse me, are you loose at? Stabs yeah. with spear. Never mind. Bleh. Um. <laughs> no, they were, they were more rickety. They're, they're, they're kind of like. Yeah. Oh, speaking oh, of rickety, there's uh, there's an entire, oh. entire Skeleton. army of skeletons up here. Oh wow, that is like all of them. Got up. What the hell? I, I turned at the last second. Still killed a skeleton with that somehow. <laughs> I missed. But fortunately, they go in the phalanx. Yeah. Phalanx. They move in herds. They do move in herds. A, a phalange. Um, in hordes, even. Oh, oh wow. yeah, there's Why a guy. Why are they all up? There's a guy over there. There's a guy over there by like a weird kind of throne looking thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy! It's always called like in the town of Sorcery Cellar, like there's literally only ghosts. Yeah. I'm evil monkey, no one alive. Okay. Let's see what this push- Oh. Ow. I do enjoy that the people will effectively stand directly in front of a guy who is in front of them, turning his sword into a volcano. <laughs> well, they gotta see where this is going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they're just, just curious, um, you know. So that only really gave us a beast blood. Yeah. Fascinating. Literally the only sorcerer in the entire area. So it must be somewhere around here. You think? Ow! Ow! Okay, not dying to regular fucking skeletons. One of these days I'll learn that spell that lets you just kill them and not have to worry about the second- <laughs> the, the double tap. Yeah. Okay, I do have my- I give up. I'm gonna equip a torch. Kelly, you freaking suck with your, um, with your constant, you know, rain. Dun dun dun! You son of a gun! How are you supposed to find this? Just roll into walls, I guess. I don't know. I think maybe if you, like... If you have a duel of spells with the mage back there, maybe one of them can hit this. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if you're supposed to just get curious about everything a or what. A piece of paper given by Sage Gowry. The town of Silicon hides the source, light the, the three flames. Okay. 
No, yeah, that's not, not it. Yeah. I, I, for a moment there, I was like, does he just tell you? No, it's a completely different sealer secret. Yeah, there's, okay. there's, this place has a few of them, it turns out. Mm -hmm. There's a grace down here. Well, I guess that's where the, 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 the guy would be hanging out. If he's, if he'd be hanging out places, you know? Yep. Alright. I'm loving this more and more. Poison castle, move over. We got a cave of wonder and mystery to figure out. Mm -hmm. Messed up wizard cave. Full of wizards, no less. Hello. Oh wow, that's uh, that's a good sign. I like this this sign. I'm also just gonna be hitting walls randomly while I'm in here. <laughs> um, good I, call, good call, given everything. Yeah, to be to be honest, I think one of the. Uh, oh, hang on. Is that? Hmm? I'm oh I'm hearing audio cues from behind walls, and I'm thinking oh it's a a, a hidden entrance. <laughs> Turns out there's just a cave nearby. Yeah. Um, then again, there could be a hidden entrance like anywhere here at this point. Yeah. Uh, but the the real the real answer to the question how was I supposed to know that wall was there is that you play online and you have player messages. How? Oh. Speaking of audio, geez, yeah, yeah, this guy's very loud. <laughs> this torch does this? Oh yeah, have you been you not been using the uh, the fire breather attack? That's, that's... I've no. Why would I? I've never been using torches. That's, okay, uh... at this point, I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> at this exactly. point, <laughs> exactly. Dude, you pulled this crap three times in a row. No way. No way. Oh, there's a guy here. All right. Oh no! There's something crawling in it. Oh no! He's in the water. In the water down. It's one, of the, it's one of those guys that, that, that do all the damage. Remember the one with the, with, with the guy? Picked? Um, oh, oh god, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the grafted nobleman or whatever. Uh, like I can target it! <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> Stay still! Stay still, my, heart, my beating heart. But also, the, the guy, please stay still. Stay still, my target. Yes. If I only could. There is no. no. Does it hit? It doesn't, no. Titan, thank you. No, I can't reach it. Maybe with pots. <laughs> I can get it with lightning. Right. Oh, really? Wow. How's that going for the buff of you? Um, better for me than it is for them. <laughs> Good. I Although, mean, it also is standing in water, so that can't be helpful. Yeah, I think they're, they're now directly below us, so I'm probably oh. just going to do this. There we go. I also like how you, you, you're you doing they, them pronouns for it, because it's a grafted yeah, who, who, pile of corpses. Who the so heck knows? they, them plural. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, lost ashes of war, that's cool. You can duplicate something useful now. I'll have whatever this sword's having. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, who even knows what those things are? Well, they seem related to a grafted spider, but like mage. So. Yeah, they're just sort of... I, th I think when you fight one in like the boss battle, it's called like Royal Revenant or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe that's got a... Whatever you'd call it, like a, a significance to it. But I, I do not know. Okay, uh, I think oh. if we want to get down to business to defeat the guy, um, I think... Speaking of guys, you are kind of going through all the guys. Yeah, I We're think... We're running out of guys. I think we head down here somewhere. I, th I just remember there being a lot of snails. Oh. And, like, there's one of these... Caverns. This has nothing to do with the. Oh, no, 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 no. This spell. Ah, I meant to use the torch. Yeah, it's down here. It's down here. This. Okay. There's one of these that's got like a really subtle glow at the end and there's like a seal down here. 
Oh, okay. Because for a moment there, I was like, imagine that this has like nothing to do with uh, Selen's quest at all. <laughs> like, this is oh. just some random cave. And a snail. Now, do we have to fight him? Good question. Let's find out. Let's find out. Kurchungus. Use seal and seal breaker. Seal broker. Oh. He napping. We can talk to him. He round. Look at. Look. He, he has a big brain. <laughs> yeah, that's like a seven head. Mm -hmm. Stars of ruin. Yep. Ooh. Basically like a whole Azure situation. Also, you can't talk to him anymore, which yeah, leads me to believe he's also... I don't he's know. alive, though. Look. He, his hands are moving and everything. So he's just, like, canonically taking a nap. Amazing. Cool. Let's leave him to it. <laughs> I was very tempted to just be like, and now he dies! <laughs> <laughs> no! I am convinced that, like... If you try to kill him, he kills you immediately, like in one, like just finger. Sure. Also, Selen would be mad. Yeah. But not mad, just disappointed. Being like you. <laughs> oh, you've met Master Lusat. You did what? <laughs> Apprenticeship cancelled. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need to we need to find a way out. We can't teleport out of here. Mm. Amazing. We are in the trap. Climbing walls, climbing walls. We can also not horse. Yeah. Horses in caves, not always the wisest move anyway. I'm afraid we can't torrent our way out. I'm like, there's a hole in here with light coming through. I should be able to teleport out through that. It's it's like um it's like having mobile phone signal. It's like if I can yeah, see yeah. open sky and I'm near a cell tower, then surely. But no, sadly no. Decidedly no. Can you see the guidance of the grace? I'm pretty sure that this is the way out. Yeah, this is the way out. Oh. But uh, aren't there like other passages there? I don't know if there's too much significant. Let's I mean It's it's the question of do are we going for significant or are we just going for giggles? Sure, I'm I'm um, fine with either. I mean that guy is still alive. <laughs> that can't be good. Uh, um, so by giggles, you mean death. <laughs> I mean, one way or another. Also, like, let's face it. We're gonna show Seven, like, one spell that we got, and she's like, what? Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> I... It's, that's all he said. He explained to you how, like, the, the version of, like, the Starfall spell, but better, and that's all he wrote. Everything just keeps leading me back down to this lake, which, yeah, is... Oh, yeah, did you actually kill the, rev the, the royal revenant in there? Oh, yeah. No, it, oh, it, it, okay. di it died. I hit it with lightning twice, and then I just brought my sword down on it, so... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. One thing that's not a thing in this that is a thing in Dark Souls is, like, attacking from above being, like, a special thing that kind of acts like a crit. Um, uh -huh. And uh, it turns out you don't really need it <laughs> in late game. <laughs> Okay, I found a stake. Which, which woman is stake here? I found a T-posing statue, but like with only one arm. Huh. Uh, leading to a crevasse. Oh. Well, I haven't been there. Are you? Okay, I need to actually lead you here. Yep. Hang on. Hang on. I'm coming back. And I'm on my way around. Yep, 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 yep. Uh -huh. Collecting my tasty. my mosses. <laughs> but do you sort it by taste or by color? <laughs> oh, you're right. There is a steak of America here, so there must be a boss. Yeah. Why do I not recall this? Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I do remember this. Uh-huh. Do you? Okay, yes. what's up? 
Oh, there's the snails. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, this is a number. I want to say this is kind of like the, um... The one place in... Leonia, where we find the Bloodhound Knight, and then the Albanoric Lady is, like, on the other side. It's like the snails, the crystals, I get the two of them confused in my head. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, no, we've done this. <laughs> well, no, we didn't, because if we... Oh, hey, what, what's this? What? More of these snails would be alive. No, look, look up. Oh. Oh, that route. Excuse me. What? Can yeah, exactly. Can you tell us Torrent. how to get in there? We don't have horse reception up here, no. uh, down here. I'm just gonna assume that the cave loops into it. Well, there's a there's a fog wall over here, so it loops oh, into a yeah, boss fight. Okay. You come in and there's like a 50 snails. Yeah. <laughs> the boss battle is just 50 of the same snail. Snail Mageddon. Right. Chungus and Traversa the Mist. Ah, it's Crystallian! Oh god, there's three of them. Yeah. He brought friend! Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing that this... It's not that they're not fair with... Well, yeah. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm guessing that they're actually taking damage from magic. Yeah. You know. They haven't been cracked yet, so... Oh, and these ones give you Scarlet Rot, so uh, watch out oh, for that. Oh, no! Well, yeah, of course, it's Caleb. They have been Scarlet Rot. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of this area's whole gimmick. They are at least kind of, like, mechanic enough that they telegraph. Yeah. And they also don't really do that much damage to me, to be honest. Ugh. I need to stop, like, digging around and start just stabbing. Yeah. Because, uh... Start stance you know, breaking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not having a, a, a good kind of, like... Not having primary. Ah, oh, damn it, Scarlet Rod. Yep. It does help that I, for some reason, decide that I'll be battling the wizard one. <laughs> oh, I immediately stunned Brock with a rock sling. Nice. Okay, this one's pretty much okay, dealt yeah, with. This one's yep. Loki is stun locking this thing because yeah, the yeah. time it takes to cast is the exact amount of time it, I take to regenerate enough stamina to swing at Sor. Same with this thing. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> okay, how do I survive Scarlet Rock now? Please give me grace. Oh, Crystal Torrent! That's a spell, I that's, guess. That's our horse, but Crystal. Um. Hmm. Survive <laughs> Scarlet Rot either by chugging flasks or. Oh, there um, is a. Yeah, there's a two to entrance. Can return to the entrance. Yeah, good idea. <sighs> okay. Very sad to see that Chris Stalin is not, is not a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Yeah, amazing. And uh, Crystal Torrent wasn't a horse either, even though our horse is uh, Torrent. Yeah, just giant disappointment this gave. Holy crap, On the other hand, we did what Selen wanted, so we can go back there now. Oh yeah, that was the point of this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is kind of weird that like you meet both of the guys who figured out Glintstone sorcery. Mm -hmm. Like you meet both of the D guys. The guys. And they both are like, eh, he's a spell. Mm -hmm. Thank you for admitting the the cave of uh, you know confusion. Am I still under crystal uh, after? Uh, you seem fine. <laughs> you seem thanks. No, I'm not crystal rotted. I'm fine. It it worked like a grace. Um, okay. How do we ask her about 
you know, the second one of her. <laughs> Something tells me it'll come up when it's pertinent. Also, there really hasn't been a boss that's just the horse. <laughs> I mean, arguably three sentinels, because they're kind of horse and man molded together, sharing a health bar. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that's like the DLC Radan boss fight is just his horse comes back for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, Leonard the revenge. I'm telling you, he knows gravity magic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, turns out it was the horse the whole time. The horse, the true power behind the throne. My apprentice. Give me a moment later. I have a favor to okay, ask. Okay, cool. What you, a, a bad, what do you want? The form you see before you is merely a projection. Oh. My body lies elsewhere. But the academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the weeping peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the church of Marika, past the plain of the wandering mausoleum. We know! We've and been there! <laughs> yeah. Body. I have something that I can only trust. How have you not, like, recognized us? Anyway, we can tell her about Ulsat's location? Yeah, let's do that. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred. You think, you think she can see this through that mask? She can't, but her intelligence is so high Please. in there. I mean, this, this brings us I, a step I don't remember the what bodies this... of masters, Azure and Lusat, can be admitted to the academy. If only I could undo these wretched shadows. What do you mean can be admitted? They're still alive. Okay, this is just my body in prison. Can you make the I, I love her just for one, boy is she lucky that we didn't just kill the body. Yeah. Just to see what like what what's up, what happens. But also <laughs> you do realize we're back from Kaled. Freaking Kaled. We're back from freaking Kaled and you're like, can you go to Wheaton Peninsula? Yeah. Please. And it's like, yes, I can go to Weeping Peninsula. I can waltz through the Weeping Peninsula. I also find it incredibly funny that one of the options in the dialogue with her before was, let us journey together. And not only does she not join you from that point onwards, yeah. she also says, by the way, my body is shackled somewhere way, and cannot be moved. And this is a projection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, okay, so everything we've How said so far. How did she hand us a key if this is a projection? I mean, who even knows, man? Who even knows? She's also a VTuber is the thing, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's <laughs> what gets me. It's like, two people I alive with in here is like, both VTubers. I mean, right. where am I going? Game recognized uh, game, right? I <laughs> so we're going. I wish because then I would probably know how to. Oh no! Nope. Okay, didn't die. There I am. Hi. Oh. So uh, there are puppets here, but they're all pretty. Pretty chill, yeah. as puppets go. Very not an issue. Oh, wow. oh, 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 Man, too bad we gave the academy key to Tops. <laughs> yeah. Because this probably is locked with, a, with an academy lock. Um, boink. Right. My apprentice. Thank you for coming. Well, yeah, what's half of you not re recognizing me last time? Take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glimstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. And so, I entrust it with you. Myself. Oh. Accept primal glimstone? What?
Oh, look at that. She will travel with me. Yeah, in a sense. Okay, why can't why can I accept it more? What? How much? <laughs> how many ro rocks do you have? Um. So, mm -hmm. did you get an item from that the first time? I don't think I did. No. Okay. Why? I might need to do it as the host, because I still have the option to let me try it. Otherwise, yeah, this yeah, is going to yeah, be one yeah, of those okay. things like fear, where we just like can't do it until yeah. we. Yeah, I'll have to do it like in single player if it doesn't. Yep. No, I am walking into a wall. Yep, you are walking into a wall. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm going to close the world so I can do this, and then we'll reopen yeah, it. Yeah, kick me out, do it, and I'll do it like on my side, my, in my single player. See what happens. Uh, I'm telling you, the amount of kidney stones on this woman. Oh hey, look! Now you now, are doing it. Now, okay, what? we're we're kind of. I'm I'm now reaching into you. And yep. <laughs> and now she's screaming. It's okay. This, the procedure is successful. Selling okay. primal greenstone. <laughs> what in the hell? Okay, is so that? so you have it. Good. I'm gonna kick yeah. you out of the world, and then I'll try and do it myself here. <laughs> Wait, did you not get it? I didn't time? get it that time, no. I've no Amazing. idea what happened. <laughs> this is just so weird. Like, the mods just make these quests so strange. Continue to extract uh, rocks out of the out of the lady. It's fine. It's healthy. It's healthy to not have rocks in you. Yeah, the fact that the sound cue is playing is a pretty good sign that it's working this time. Where even is it? Because I don't see it in the key items. Oh, it should be in your key items. If it's not there, then that may have screwed up. Oh, no, that is. It is covered Good. in blood, which is very disturbing. <laughs> Good stone from within the sorcerer's seventh body. Seeing the half alive, blood vessels are visible within. Gross. Uh, in essence, a primal glintstone is a sorcerer's soul. If transplanted into a compatible new body after the original body dies, the What's up, Rex? Again. Welcome My in. Do you think is tasteful? Hmm. The the amount of just people I just drag on me nowadays. Yeah, you're kind of a taxi service in the lands between. Um, uh, world's open again, so you can rejoin. Okay. What does she want us to do about it? Is the thing like is there is there a person we can deposit this into? Well, uh, she is still somehow looking at me, so I presume she has more to say on the subject. Oh, that's weird. I mean, Forbes is, you know, just chilling. Oh, just uh... Ah! How are you here? A what? guy is here now. Let's let's talk to... Talk to Selen if we can. I can't. Ah, well oh, I get... Dead, dead for me. I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here. Just let me know what's saying. all places. You didn't know Selen. Van, thank you for the full year of support. Everyone spam the word nerd in the chat, please. Enjoy that nerd sub badge. Welcome to the nerd herd. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her what? hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Real Acaria's Academy. Jaren is monologuing. Um, oh, I'm, I've not talked to him yet. Oh, sorry. Um, also, Selen is just still looking around, which is really weird when he's all like, oh, she must be dead. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh. It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. <laughs> I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. This is so goofy, man. A sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. I suspect so. I'm sure she'll a sickening. Why? Okay, why are you here though? Yeah, funny you say that, um, um, just in general, like, would you describe yourself as um, a compatible? <laughs> Fascinating. 
Anyhow, uh, that, yeah. we've done that now. Now we've figured out why there's a second Selen in the game. It's because she's um, the actual Selen and yeah. she has a rock in her that we need to take somewhere. Does the, the, oh crap, 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 this is poison, this is poison, this is poison. Uh, did the original Selen disappear? There is still a character marker on the Waypoint Ruins. I don't know what happens if we go there. Okay, let's. Worth finding out though. Yeah. This completely different woman, like, dragging off the giant helmet, like, where the, what the hell happened? <laughs> I don't remember the last 20 years. Well, I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh. The good well, news is she... The quest hasn't bugged out. The bad news is she's not here. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, it makes well, sense. The quest didn't bu bug out. All right. Uh, some, uh, mm -hmm. So Millicent has a few openings in her. Uh, we could probably <laughs> plug Selen real quick, you know, ask what's up. In the meantime... Yes, um, in the meantime. What are we going to do next? <laughs> Poison Castle. Yes, of course. Right. So, um, um, like I said, the best place to go is probably going to be Erdtree Gazing Hill on the western side of Altus Plateau. Oh, yeah. I'm looking right at it. Awesome. Uh, see you around, Muffin. Thank you so much for stopping by. Why, why was that guy there, like, also, uh, the PG Mug Beatstone? Hmm? It's funny you mention Millicent, because uh, from where we're standing right now, I'm gonna let you- I'm gonna let you play Where's Millie. <laughs> what? Uh... Is there, like, a, a cross? <laughs> I can- wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. I discovered a bent shrimp friend pointing at another catacombs. Oh. <laughs> so I don't think... Oh, hey, that, she's also there. Nice. <laughs> she's kind of on the way, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice. So, what's up? Ah, oh, you're doing... We meet again. In truth, it's been smooth yeah, sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled since last we met. As such... I've been able to continue my journey, though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. You're what now? Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her, this vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Oh. Fascinating. Now, but also, what's that about sword into... arm? Is that like. Alright! Apparently, like, sword arms exist and you're not gonna elaborate at all. Thank you! Yeah, I mean, she was doing pretty well against um, Magma and Maka, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my logic is let's activate the friend for later. Yeah, okay. And then we're, we're still going to the, uh, the poison swamp castle? Yes. Great. Uh, potentially through the... Why is there a summoning stake here? Presumably because there are bosses nearby. Oh, look! A tibia mariner. The beast Ike weavers. God damn it. I just joked about the mariner. Okay, this guy now is pointing. Okay. You wanna go rob a man of his boat, boat or... Yep, let's do oh it. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Turns out he had laser skeletons. Okay, there goes my room. <laughs> oh, for some reason I thought that like dodging once would be enough. 
I'm not go I'm not even gonna ask you to like die intentionally not you're dealing so much damage you're gonna just kill him immediately and that's it. Yeah honestly this guy's not doing a whole lot to me so Yeah I mean they generally are out of pushover but holy crap giant skeleton Yeah the uh <laughs> The giant skeletons are fun Ah! Oh, there he is. The fun, the fun. All right. The new boss is my stamina bar. It turns out. Okay, sick. We did it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, you did it. I well. immediately died to the first attack. Uh, yeah, it's like it's fine. I just need to dissipate it. I'm not even embarrassed. Anyway, you wanted more Garank snacks? We have Deathroot now. Uh, where would the you like- The TBS summons also. What the hell? Where would you like me to hit the Grace? Uh, I don't know. Whenever you can find one. I guess a uh, Tree Gazing Hill again, probably. Yeah, um, let's go. At least there we need to go uh, down into the valley instead of up this hill, so um, it does make sense. Also, uh, Millicent's eyes glowed golden, mm -hmm. so... I don't know if that's something that already was happening, but it definitely is something that's happening now, which I guess was that a YOLO or a normal death. That was a normal death. I did absolutely not anticipate either a mariner nor a giant skeleton nor that like just dodging a little bit wouldn't dodge out of this. Basically, I should have dodged the opposite direction. The, the, the Hold on, runes. You, uh... Runes, 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 runes. Hmm? You, you did live more than once as well, so I don't think a YOLO really applies. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, that was, uh... An unexpected but welcome little diversion no, boss fight. No, that was dope. That was so, so freaking cool. And the, uh, area up there is called Wyndham Ruins. Uh, so the skeleton statue up there is pointing towards Wyndham Ruins, so we should check that out when we uh, next want to go and explore some catacombs. Oh. Okay. In the meantime, down into the valley, we can actually just skip around all of the camp yeah. stuff down two, here. Two more gates land immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's more, more of the Flotis Caraps. Oh, nothing more. Oh, there we go. Blood play. Yeah, more stuff for so, people who uh, enjoy bleed builds. I mean, I am technically a bleed build. Yes. <laughs> I think I might be as well. I can't remember if this does, like, bleed damage or... Mm. I don't know if it does, like, blood loss, but it, like... It does life steal and stuff, so... What in the heck is running towards me? Oh, that's another, uh... Another one of those it's Revenant one of guys, but on a horse. Yeah, there we go. You messing with the trolls again? I guess so. Oh, there's a lot of special effects on the screen these days. Okay, um... Excuse me. Ah, oh, yes. damn it. Is that the exact... No, it's not. Okay. This is the butthole. Yeah, yeah. I thought that that was the exact uh, dungeon that uh, the shrimp fella was pointing at. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Yes, Liara. Muffin is a lot better in mod. Mod. As soon as she left, I immediately died. <laughs> that's uh, that's how it goes. Like it, to the stupidest way to. Wait a minute. What? How am I casting? How are you casting? What? No, seriously, I could. I don't have. No, I have 61 intelligence somehow. 
even though my runes are not there. Oh, did oh, you? Oh, I have a star. I have star gazers there. Uh, I was gonna me. say, did you have a, uh, a talisman? Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. And grace. And grace. Okie dokie. Let's see what this place has to offer. I'm going to assume it's at least some smithing stones. Yeah. We can always hide. hope, though. Cracked crystals are giving me. What is that Oh, it's the regular guy. Yeah, the cracked crystals are giving me safe silly crystal tunnel flashbacks, and that's <laughs> not good flashbacks. Yeah. Um, we got a smithing oh, stone. Hey, that, that's a smithing stone. There Five, we go. yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I need next to upgrade my seal. I guess I need sixes for plus 18. So if this place gives us any of those, that's good. But I'm on the somber smithing stone to my main weapon now. Well, there is... No, wait, that's not. Same is the thing, but also I... Like, I do have a sidearm that needs to be replaced with something heavily upgraded instead. Yeah. That's the only way I'm ever outgunning the... Nice. Oh, there's a dog. Besieged. <laughs> I forgot I do fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, blood uh, bolt Drake Talisman one. Nice. That's nice. Oh, more cave. Full on crash bandicooted that oh, thing. God, oh my goodness. So, more, so much more. There's another smithing stone five back there. Awesome. And from here it is back down or to the right, or I guess. Is it? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll get the guy at the back. My sword deals enough damage that they die, but it also bounces off, so it looks like they die from me just tapping on their shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you kind of judo chop them, which is very good. <laughs> okay. There is more cave in that general direction, I think, unless that's where we came I believe that's where we came in. That is where we came in, okay. At the very least, I can orient myself a little bit. Now the smithing stone five and God damn it. It. some dudes. Oh, look, there's, there's a there's a full dude. Ow! Ow! It's another full dude right here. Okay, some smithing stone in here. Uh, fourth one though. So. Stand back, I'm going to try fire. Oh god, yeah. Cool. Um everything here ex is explosive. There's also some dogs in here, but now there are not some dogs in here. <laughs> oh, this is one you'll want. This is yeah. Trolls hammer. Trolls hammer. Hammer in a troll. <laughs> what? Oh, a guy. Judo chop! <laughs> Mining tool of stone digger trolls used to crack bedrock. <laughs> they've got they've got cheats. You can't crack bedrock. Etc. Exactly. Um, what is this game about? Uh, about sixty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only. That's the, it, it, I'm that, yeah, that is honestly explanation I can. the most straightforward answer you're going to get about what this game is about. Um, yeah, we like, are. Usually, it would be about you like making your way through this pretty cool, like very weird world and learning to wield a variety of weapons with a pretty intricate battle system and whatnot. But in our case, it's kind of a cheat. Shit yeah, it's kind, it's kind of goofy. Um, the yeah, the okay. plot of the game is that you are a tarnished, a mysterious, I guess, humanoid. Um, um, 
with no real kind of clue yeah. as to your origin right away, you are mm -hmm. brought to a place called the Lands Between and told to seek the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Outside of that... And if you can't do it, good job. And if you can't, well, you try to. Yes. Um, yeah, there's... There's uh... a boss wall here. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of other weird stuff that happens in this game, but... That is the long and the short of it. It's oh, a troll. It's a, stone, it's a stone digger trolley. Yeah, keep screaming, you idiot. <laughs> Great club. Yeah, man. Mm. Digging the ambience. Um, yeah. <laughs> one more for the road. <laughs> cool. <Hell> yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was a quick one. There's That's probably like some secret entrances and whatnot. Oh, whatever. No, I don't think there is in this one really. Don't be bothered. Yeah. If there are, I do not know them, and frankly, I don't care to, because I mm. would like to get us to the uh, the castle at the top of here. I think. Yeah, that's... I'm sorry for your No, 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 not at all. No, no. There's another troll here. Yeah, there was... There's uh, that guy. Yeah, we killed them all uh, already. There's a couple of them uh, flanking the path here, but we can head on up in this direction. Yeah, no no, no need to apologize for, like, derailing anything. I just... I, I like uh, exploring this stuff as we find it, and that was absolutely on the way to this. Yeah, which is funny because I only remembered that I wanted to go there because it was on the way to here because mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. was looking for it on the map. Oh, that's much less castle, you know? Yeah, less than like after <laughs> the ones we've seen so far. Yeah, after the Volcano Manor and, uh, you know, the other guy, the, the Storm Whale, this is humble. Yeah. Oh, it, those are slugs. I thought that those were fingers of a giant, what's it called? <laughs> of one of the giant hands. That's such a relief. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you don't have to deal with finger creepers is a good time. I mean, it says you are fire build. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a no horse. Okay. No horse zone. Yes. No horse in place. Also, yeah, I never played this game. Pixelers has played this game, so... He knows what he's doing, I don't know what we're doing, not entirely. I'm navigating by vibes. Oh, there's a grace here. Not grace. I don't know if these are the outfits we're going to be sticking with for the remainder of the game, but I do like the places that our characters have got to from the uh, initial kind of... Yeah. <laughs> From the starting class to this, it's been quite the transformation. I mean, the only... Oh, that looks... I mean, on the other hand, though. <laughs> I do like the fact that you can just Kamehameha anything that intimidates you now. <laughs> when threatened, Zloy <laughs> will release a giant beam of uh, energy, annihilating anything in its... Anyway. Oh, it's, it's horizontal <laughs> only. Okay. Yeah, I can also unleash fire, it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> that one was guarding like a these, these, these golden guys rune. Just like, yeah. I like these guys aesthetically, though. Like, they have a nice cloak. Yeah, the cloak is really cool. Like, the... the it looks feathery. The vibes in general, kind of neat. Um, oh, well, I'm glad I wanted to go down here because I fell down here and there's a lot of slugs attached to the wall. Why does... Oh, God. Why does the poison... Sorry, say that again when I'm not causing a volcano to appear. Uh, why... Why this swamp here look like a... Like an oil, oil spill? Yeah, it's... <laughs> 
they don't really have a great way of doing poison that isn't just bright green, I guess, so... Yeah, but no, this is like bright yellow, and yellow <gasps> in this game is, ow, very much associated with, like, uh, the nob nobility and what's his face. I've made a uh, discovery. What? Uh, a painting. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, we are art connoisseurs, uh, we should. I, I can't, Absolutely. I can't get under there. I can't get under there. How do I get in? Let me in. Okay, I'm, I'm in. Uh, there is a stairway. Yeah, there we go. I was just trying to get in from under the side and it wouldn't let me duck under I the beams. I was trying to get in through the window, so... Gonna take a look at this wow. before it becomes really small in our inventories. Uh, that looks like a hero's grave on Altus Plateau. I know where that one is. Amazing. Champion song... I, I'll be Champion honest, song. Mm. I've never found that painting before. Oh. Usually, like, this place, because it's, like, all poison and stuff, I hate it enough that I don't spend too much time looking around. I just kind of go and do the main objectives. Yeah, I don't know what about my, uh, what immunity is so good, but, like, the poison here really doesn't bother me much. I mean, so when, you, when you've done the Lake of Rot, I think anything just feels like a... Okay, yeah, I guess it's just the question of perspective. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better by comparison. We have a uh, ladder over here. And various Who ramparts. Oh. Oh no! Ambush! <laughs> what is this lake of learning stuff? Come on, dudes. Calm down. Stop it. There's two more behind here, which I'll quickly yeah. dispatch. I do like to think that the reason this is, uh, what's it called? Uh, no horse zone is because Torrin just nops out, like, nope. Yep, not dealing with this. Not no, dealing thank you. With this. Yeah. You ask him why, he just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have you seen that one beat in the never-ending story? Yeah. Not, not, not risking it. Yeah. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Is it from Never Ended Story? But uh, the, the horse died. I don't remember. Uh, probably. Like a, a swamp that like only people who don't have depression can cross, and the main character crosses fine, but his horse gets stuck because mm. apparently the horse had depression the entire time. What? Yeah. I mean, they can, they can. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's, he's on a treadmill. What? One of the basilisks for me is just kind of stuck in a running animation. It's really funny. Oh, okay. Um. Damn, cardio is gonna kill you. But, uh, oh, damn it. I got him. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, and there's like a little um. Like Tomb Raider style obstacle course over here. <laughs> this is like the warm up. This is how you learn all of the jumping skills. It's lava. And dwarfs. Smith is on five in here. We've got a few of those already from the. Uh... It is kind of funny to me that like you don't really need to pick up any Smith and Stones ever now because you kind of are set. Yeah, I mean, I, what I'm. Kind of weapon you want to use? I'm still looking for the. Uh, yeah, the somber ones. The somber ones, and I, I need a, a couple more smithing stones for my um, incantation oh, seal. Oh yeah, you have a seal. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, because like, your stuff. If you're using that one, you don't need to upgrade it. But I need to upgrade my seal for better spellage. I just love how forceful this attack is. Like, you send stuff yeah. flying with it so easily. Oh. Gotta get his steps in? Exactly. You get it. This looks so much 
More effort than it should have. <laughs> yeah. Man, if only this skill replenished its FP as well as its... As well as, like, healing me. Don't get too greedy. <laughs> you have a weapon that, like, gives you health in a game, you know, about not <laughs> running out of health. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I'm just a little spoiled at this point. I kind of wonder if I should just equip a talisman that does stuff like there that. There is a talisman that, like, uh, re replenishes FP when you uh, crit people, I think? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the other one. And uh, I can get a maximum FP boost or I can get a, uh, a, a thing that increases the amount that flasks restore. But, oh. um, yeah, no, no way am I... Uh, Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. New drip alert. What? The uh, depraved perfumer robe. <gasps> oh my god! Ah, oh, it looks so cool. That's that's pretty choice. I I don't think it's as good as the fire monk's garb, but I think it's pretty. It has a really cool like it has a lot of style points because the fire monk's garb is just red, but this one is like black on the outside, red on the inside. Yeah, this is definitely my immunity cloak. <laughs> um. <laughs> Doesn't have a great deal of poise or robustness though, so it's it's Aww. the the fire monk's armor is basically much better in terms of physical damage. I don't even like the what's his face armor that I'm wearing. Oh, um, Istvan. <laughs> uh, this one, yeah. I mean, the cape is neat. The armor itself. Is like... There is an item there. I guess. We've not been on this ladder, right? No, we have not. Okay. There's also a little path around to the left that we can still take. Okay, let's go. Let's go left. I okay, guess. sure. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> we are back. <laughs> Creating a traffic jam at the top of this ladder, that's fine. Have a heavy weapon plus a fire weapon. You're so good against the slugs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing pretty well against the slugs. Call me pest control at this point. Mm. Although that's more when I'm in Kaled dealing oh, with Oh the... no! Um, uh, Royal Revenant. Oh good. Yep, 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 yep. Just Admitted gonna. Um, up, it's living. Why is it making the zero noises? Well, at least it's dead. Um, yeah. Wrong one. Dang it! I get I get the flame so spells. Some fire in here. I get the flame spells mixed up all the time when I'm trying to clear poison and stuff. Um, good. Good. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's excellent. Awesome. <laughs> We're just like not even wasting any time on these guys. Uh, hop. Man, when they line up like that, it's like playing a round of bowling with these guys. They have neutralizing boluses over here, just laying around. <laughs> Pretty useful. Uh, yeah, thanks. Subtle. There is a certain game design and just putting a, an item like that here to kind of remind the player, hey, remember that this exists. Yes, you can bowl us if you want to. Yes. You can leave your friends behind. Uh, oh, there's an entire plateau here that you can kind of... Is this an entry point or is this an exit point? Uh, I think it can be both. Yeah. It doesn't even look like you need a horse to get up the, uh, the boulders yeah. there. Yeah. Anyway, this has a whole group of guys on a rooftop. Ah, damn it, another plant. Yeah. And it uh, looks like a Scarlet Rot plant, actually. Oh, amazing. What is what is that doing there? Kind of botany spot, but hey.
<laughs> it too is firing its laser. Nice. It's actually healing myself through that fight by taking out the little ones. <laughs> And more smithing stones, of course. Great. Where to find any here for some reason? You know, like, yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem like the uh, most obvious place for that kind of loot. But hey. Yeah. What have you been making in in this castle? <laughs> yeah. What you been smithing these days? Yeah. A lot of this is stones, but. <laughs> So, uh, up the ladder now. Yeah. I guess. How many people can play with the seamless co-op mod? I think four is the maximum, but there is currently a 2.0 beta version of it, which is still pretty buggy, but can support, like, a lot more players. Like, it basically breaks the whole thing wide open, and is probably going to be more for, like, if you want to play PUBG and Elden Ring, more yeah. or less. Uh, yeah, no, no guarantees about performance there, of course, because it's. I mean, I it's. I just wait for the speedrunner versus hunter kind of. Videos. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, hey, this is your favorite situation. Yeah. <laughs> too good, too good. Definitely need more mana flasks. Yeah, same. I'm hoping that there's like a grace somewhere. <laughs> in this game, you know, in general. Yeah. You, uh... <laughs> you ran past the first one of those, so he missed you. And then turning around yeah. to hit that guy, the other guy missed you as well. And I'm like, this is comedy. <laughs> this is absolute oh, comedy. Oh, rod clean knight here. Well, you're doing a great job. There is <laughs> barely any rot here. You cleaned up real nice. Oh, had clean rod... Had clean rod grease out of that. I want a clean rod knight helmet. Because it has nice dandruff. Valkyrie's Prost Fesses? Mm hmm. <gasps> we can give it to Millicent. We can finally give her a hand. I mean, uh, help her <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh my god. You know what that means? They, they have been making stuff in here. This is kind of like. They've been smithing the, this with the stones. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Like, why else would this be here? If not for, like, because they make this here. Um, Can we just look through our key items for a second? We have uh, a memento from a bunch of dudes who were turned into a giant spider, the ashes of a hawk that won't listen to us, a serpent's womb, <laughs> uh, <laughs> prosthesis from, like, I don't know, somebody, used by... This is once used by the one-armed Valkyrie. The one-armed Valkyrie. Work of craftsmanship, of practice and skill can be used as a proficient as real arm. When Mal Malaif Marais, Lord of Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. And that's not embraced. Here. That's not embraced as in, like, you know. Uh, Hugged, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it is. <laughs> I feel like that's what it is. It's, it's less like, you know, got used to using or something, and it's mm -hmm. much more like, no, he gave it a hug, and he was like, I think I feel the hand of the Valkyrie on my shoulder. Um, and they're like, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we, we, we have a, um, a a black knife print, we have a curse mark of death, uh, a rock that we pulled out of a woman, uh, <laughs> Rani the Witch merch. A miniature merch. Of, a, of, a, of a different woman. Pleasantly the cool. Fruit. Let me remind you. Yeah, Beast just... eye, 11 hearts of a dragon. <laughs> 11 dragon hearts, a bunch of lava <laughs> tears. Two lost of ashes of war. You have two, two I only have one. Of of war. Yeah. Uh, and... The thing is that I'm pretty sure Lost Ashes of War is like literally corpses, gr corpses, corpses ground up. Mm -hmm. So um, we are very normal and can't be trusted with things and item. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, all right, so we've we've got that, but there's uh, a little bit more to this castle if we want to keep exploring. I like to think that we can get the second curse mark of death, like the second half of it, and we just die immediately. Yeah, because <laughs> if you like, if you have the entire thing, it like it does what curse mark of death does and just kills you. Oh yeah, okay, we, so we've we been this way. Came from here. Yeah, we never went to that like giant gate. 
yeah, we can we can kind of hop through and the this question is how. section, I believe. Uh, pardon, what are you? Not now, nothing anymore. Um... Nah, nah, nah. I'm providing aerial support. <laughs> I mean, me too, but. <laughs> That's the wrong enemy. Can't really get anywhere from here, I don't think. Hang on. Unless I'm supposed to jump through this tree somehow. Oh. Yeah, hip. <laughs> this guy with his mist. Excuse me, you appear there to be stuck go. on a tree. <laughs> Can I help yeah. you with that? Okay. Um, to the staircase in the middle, probably. Hopefully. Anything up there? Nope. Okay, cool. I mean, there's a uh, poison bloom. And we're trudging, and we're trudging. Oh, yeah, we do have the one uh, the one talisman that makes us stronger if there's a ton of poison nearby. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> There we go. Sorry about that. What? I should have put on my uh, perfumer's garb or whatever, but I took the long way through the poison swamp. Ah. Uh... <laughs> nice. I love seeing those things be like, "All right, I give up." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I need to. Uh, I, I need to do this uh... trick again. Oh. God damn it! Why? Why? <laughs> That was, yeah. Sick is how I would describe that enemy. Moonvale's horizontal swing is such a, like, convenient and interesting, uh, I don't feel like aiming attack. <laughs> it really is. That's why I relied on it so much the first time through. I was like, yeah, I, I'm, I like this because it makes me not have to worry about accuracy and timing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, it, like with the right timing, it's absolutely lethal. And with yeah. uh, even slightly imprecise timing, it's very forgiving. Yeah, it, groups of enemies also just... Yeah. Good way of dealing with it. You've got... Uh... Crud, crud. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's... Awful. You've got the, like, horizontal width. I've got, like, the straight column forward <laughs> in terms of our attacks. <laughs> Doing pretty well there. Together we're the perfect Tetris team. <laughs> we kind of are, yes. Um, I think there might be another Grace around here somewhere. God, I hope so. I'm out of, like, everything. Yeah, I need my flasks back. For no good reason. Well, would you look at that? My memory serves oh. me well. I think I also have enough runes to level up again. Yeah, me too. Almost twice over. No, not twice over. Gregory Senpai says we need to check out the official Elden Ring manga. I do want to read it. The what? There's an Elden Ring manga, I guess. Um, there's also a couple of, like, actual cinematic trailers for this game that weren't just, like, the opening cutscene with uh, the loathsome dung eater and all of that. Like, I think um, yeah. there's one that's basically, like, a story trailer that shows some of the fight between Melania and Radan, which is supposed to be really good. I swear, you walk up to that ghost and he's like, Beware of a dog! <laughs> Palsmare is ruined. Just deserts for falling for the severed harpy. No surprise that guilty cretin took the castle and her stories sword. What is it with people just going like, We need to defend our sword, and then they're like, Nope, that one dude's got it, <laughs> but he's still here, so I guess we just keep him here. I mean, at this point... 
build a wall around the dude. <laughs> yeah. Build a wall you around can the keep sword. The dude and the sword. Yeah. <laughs> the sword is still on the dude. It was the same. The same exact misbegotten. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine if it's another, another misbegotten. Uh, Leonine misbegotten. Or Crusader, or whatever they are. With an even bigger sword. Oh, it's one of these boys. Was one ah. of these boys. Yeah, that's... Um... Page Hood, I got, I, I got his hat. Oh, nice. I'm glad one of us got something out of it. <laughs> Other than satisfaction, which I get every time I kill one of those guys. Um, oh! What? Oh! And dude! Uh, that's just a clean rot knight, though, isn't it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh! Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, he he drops a helm. No! Oh, come on! You're getting so many good hats today. I didn't get it. Did you not? Oh. No, you got it. Oh, I can drop the, it. The enemy drops are randomized. Well, some, also, some of them it are. It kind of fits you so good, though. Like, yeah, maybe. Because the red dangly beads. Some of them are actually scripted. I think you get them every time. But. Oh, yeah. You. You and your freaking firework crossbow. I swear to God. And another clean rot knight. Okay. I don't like where this leads because Clean Rot Knights strike me as Millennia's army or whatever. Well, th this place clearly has like connections to it, right? Yeah, for one, they all have, you know, prosthetics that distinctly look like. What is it called? Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, just in case. That all distinctly look like uh, kind of her armor. Mm hmm. And I don't like that. And also, like, the guy mentioned some sort of a harpy, so... Expecting... Oh, God. That's a shortcut. Expecting woman with wings. At one point or another. I mean, we did, we did get guys with, like, winged uh, hoods and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Let me see. Um... Oh, it's, like, way down here and... Does not make me a heavy load, so. Uh, oh, that's fascinating. It does uh, have the dangly beat. I don't it like. It does have the wings. I don't like it aesthetically. <laughs> it's kind of. Aesthetically, it's off. Yeah. It goes well with their armor and only their armor. Who the hell was making all these touches? What the heck are you doing here? <laughs> Patches is Patch like, man? I've just finished, <gasps> just finished making all these statues. <laughs> Yes, but uh, a good soul. Gee, thanks. Make certain <laughs> the gets Well, screw you. Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just it makes me sick Ooh. to see her all bent out of shape. Come on, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then. Then I can rest easy, my friend. Who is Tanith? Uh, she's the proprietress of Volcano Manor. Oh. And he, what, and, he, what? and he wants her to be able to, like, dance the flamenco again or whatever. I, I guess. Is he dead? Is he breathing? I can't tell. He's kind of undulating a little bit, but also not talking, so... You know. Who knows? Evidently he had yeah. a run-in with whatever's behind this fog wall, though. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. But also, he's not behind the fog wall. What is this? Castanets used by dancers from distant. Yeah, no crap. Castanets used by dancers from distant land received from patches. Passionate dance comprises no seductiveness, but merely a dignified beauty. I mean, 
then you're doing it wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, Traverse the list. Uh, Elmer is the line. Ah, crap. Give me all your glue! <laughs> I've taken bells from people much worse than you. Ow. Ow. Yep. Turns out he hits pretty hard. Yeah. Fortunately, so do we. My man, if you have a second phase, now would be the time to enter it. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> Nailed it. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moray's execution of Briar Gretchen. What? Do tell. Also, we I might want to. About, all about his sword. Hmm? I'm pretty sure the painting ahead is not one we can use for GeoGuessr, but um, there's maybe a good reason for that. That is. Storied sword of House Moray, the family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Castle. One of the legendary armaments. Elmer uh, of the Briar, the bell bearing hunter, snatched the sword from the side of his looming execution and furnished it with battle skill from his home of Eocade. Uh, Eocade's dancing blade. Oh, you can you can cosplay as the bell bearing hunter. Mm hmm. It requires 24 strength and 23 arcane. What the heck? Where even is it? Like, where are, you, where are we looking? Uh, the same where the Great Blade Greatsword is. Oh, right, I see it. I wasn't looking for it. It's with the pile of greatswords. My, it's with my death poker. So we have the uh, dagger and also the sword that do that, where you can wait, kind of... We also, did you also drop, like, armor of some sort? Like, uh, shield. Shield. The What's Briar that? Great Shield. Uh, if it was... If it's so great, it would be 21 strength. Um, yeah, same stuff. Oh, you basically are a wall with it. You like disappear entirely behind it. Yeah. <laughs> this one does not scale down with the ca with the character model. It's just pretty hench. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know what I expected. But that's what uh, we got. <laughs> but that's what we got, and we got patches in here. You still there? He's just chilling. You, you, you'll be fine, my man. You, I, uh, yeah. I'd give you some prawns, but unfortunately, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to negate any defense right now, so we'll save that for later. Uh, so Can now. Can we give his woman the, 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 the flamenco? We can do that. We can give uh, Millicent the arm. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right you're Which right. one would you like to do first? Uh, arm. Let's arm Millicent. She's armed and dangerous. All right. Oh, Earth tree gazing hill. Is, well, she is. <laughs> yeah. She has one arm and she's pretty dangerous with that. I like how it's like prosthetic, but there's like no arm at all. Because it's like from the shoulder and down, so it's full mechanical. It's like straight out auto mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got some very full metal alchemist vibes about it. Mm. Hello! We're. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. so, good news! You can now have three arms if you want to. <laughs> I never played this before. I had no bloody idea that this, like, this is how it's gonna be. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Give the Valkyries prosthetic. Are you giving me this arm? I thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. 
And what did you call what you did in the magma worm fight? Uh, uh was it half? It might be possible. Perhaps that... Well, oh, also she, like, she is blissfully unaware of left hand. I think we summoned her at least, but I, I know we summoning works. Summoned Ami listen. Yeah, yeah. But like with how it all works, it's like anyway. What do we need? Let's uh, rest at the grace, and if she's still there. Maybe she'll have her on this time. We rest of the grace, we get up, and she's just laying down dead. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to use the arm, anything. and it killed me. Um, okay, she's not here. So she will be... I actually know where she goes, I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice. Um, if we go to... You look so cool, though. <laughs> Hell yeah. You um, look so cool, like, with this as a backdrop. With just, like, <laughs> bright red and this... Metal as hell sword. With the stance awesome. and everything, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, if we warp to, believe it or not, uh, ah. the grace at the top of the windmill village. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where we find her next. Okay, there it is. Windmill Heights. Amazing. <laughs> Just with, with a prosthetic, it's like, you know what? Actually, I don't really feel like wielding a sword. I like dancing now. It's cool. So I believe you, you have some maracas for me to, <laughs> yeah. to use. <laughs> yeah, no, this this uh, of all places, this would be the place to use maracas. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure you if you do all of that stuff first, you can summon her for the Godskin Apostle fight. But oh my god, that's so cool. We uh, did pretty well regardless. She has the arm. She does have the arm. She has the right! <laughs> the arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. Aww. I would have you call it is the That's only fun. way that I can express my thanks. And still, you won't give us, give yourself to us in the same way that, like, people who turn into spirit ashes. <laughs> Call on me in battle, but only if I'm around. Honestly, I am carrying only enough women. I don't yeah, need yeah. just another one. <laughs> Backpack full of them like Pokemon I just point. now remembered that, um, what's her face? The, the level up girl is also technically on me still. Yeah, yeah, um, Melina is still so, kind of... Melina. Hanging out, yeah. I can, I can never remember her name. I don't know why. I mean, it's the same as like three other people in this game. So. Yeah, Melina, Millicent, Melania. God damn it, Marika. Just yeah. calm down. There are other letters in the alphabet. Yeah. Have I explained to you the uh, fan theory that they're all called things like Godfrey and Millicent and Radan because it's the letters G, R, and M because George R. R. Martin was involved with this. You game. did <laughs> yeah. tell me that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's um, the, the popular theory. No, I'm just like looking at this and in my mind I just go, yeah. Podzol and Cherry Blossoms. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, right, so if we want to, I think we can probably, the last thing we'll do on the stream is try and go see Tanith. Uh, but if we go to Volcano Manor, just the uh, the lobby to start with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The foyer. We try and see Tenet, and we just go to the movie and like watch Nolan's one. <laughs> Tenet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I do like this table. It's got a, a hell of a lazy Susan. Mm. Anyway, uh, you'll see that uh, no Tanith. It turns out. Well. Okay. Also, that's uh, absolutely what Rikard looked like before he became a snake. Um, oh yeah, I figured. I'm pretty Not holding this same sword though. Uh, that might Wait, be... no, no, no. Oh, yeah, he has the little dangly hands that stick out of the sword. Yeah, this is the exact same sword. Yeah, and if you look at, like, the, the way it's designed and stuff, it could basically be this sword. It's just got a lot of yeah. little extra things. Um, or they just drew it poorly. That's also an option. It's a painting, not a picture. Yeah. 
So, uh, so Tanith, not here. Um, who is here? Is it just, the door um, is shut. it's just banal, I guess. Um, the only thing in this game that is. So, you killed Rikard. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. <laughs> Such is our code. I think that's a, a better way of putting it than, oh, Rikard was weak. <laughs> yeah. To his very flesh. But any road, the volcano manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise what? against the Erd Tree. Oh, great, and I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will. And you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this. Fair no warning. one in this game can just, you know, oh, I am the go against Christianity without being way weirder and worse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's. Uh... This guy specifically, I, I I like his entire. Oh God, I hope you're listening. I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kill you personally. I mean, you had you had already decided that we were gonna chop down the Erd Tree before we even started running into all of these factions who were like, yeah, that... the Erd Tree sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is kind of messed up, but. <sighs> Anyhow. I don't... Like, I don't judge, I don't question their judgment on the topic of chopping down the earth tree. I am questioning it on the topic of, like, what they prefer to do instead. Yeah, what, what they would replace it with, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Tanith is not here. Um, shall I just tell you where she is? I would never guess the thing, so, yeah, sure. Uh, go to the Rikard Lord of Blasphemy, Grace. She doesn't appear there on the map, but you can yeah, 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 yeah. you can revisit the arena. I don't feel like she is she a giant snake too now. Content warning, real oh, gross. Dear God. <laughs> God damn it! Ah. You walk in and there's like another spear, just like. Oh God! Oh. Hey, Rich. Um, see, you've been doing well. So, how about that family, huh? Um, oh, he dangly. He very dingly. Yep. Give the dancer castanets. <laughs> I mean, sure. What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. <laughs> oh, you... Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please... Find purchase within me. I wish to be your I... serpent one day. Let the the very line, our lord is pretty together. vast and not easily consumed, is already <laughs> funny as all get out, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the implication that the rest of him she already has eaten? Yeah. Because <laughs> he was way heftier than just this bit. Mm hmm. Um. Do anyway, we return the castanets to Patches now. Uh, I like, hey, you simp. Uh, <laughs> just not interested. Sorry. He is not at the shaded castle anymore, so I don't know where we're gonna find Patches. Anyway, this woman has to die. So um. Oh. My lord. My god. <laughs> okay. And then she did. Mostly, so this happens. Invaded by Tanit. Oh. So that, once again, is a fight I did not realize happened until my most recent playthrough of this game. <laughs> um, well, yeah, because why would you kill her? Is the thing? 
Also, you get her outfit by doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you got me on board now. Worth. Awesome. Uh, hang on one second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> this, honestly, almost better than going completely helmetless, just for the, the stern visage. But, um... <laughs> Uh, there's so many ways to look like an idiot in this game. This also apparently increases dexterity by one, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no idea. Um, also has better stats than not wearing a helmet, so I could go there. Um, <laughs> oh god, this is what a what a pair we make. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty good, pretty good. Awesome. No, I like your bad hair. <laughs> yeah. You look you look how you. Sh feel after, you know, all the stuff we did. Okay, we cannot kill Riker any further. No, he's pretty dead already. Now, can we feed him to someone? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I think that's probably where we should end it for today, because, uh, gosh, that's been a yeah. lot of stuff. Um, this has been miraculously succinct, is the word? Yeah, I guess uh, so. We, eloquent? We've... What's the word? Uh, basically, everything fed into it itself, and I'm like, what? How you planned all of this? <laughs> no, I, I apologize if it feels like I'm steering some stuff. I am kind no, of. No, 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 like... no, absolutely. I, I am of all people. I'm very aware of how not steering you actually are because it's very hard to direct me in any direction. Yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, there's there's certainly some stuff that you can find just through exploration, but yeah, there's some yeah. stuff that like to get some of the more satisfying moments like that, it's uh, it's a lot yeah, more fun if you kind of really, know what's really going good, on. Because I would ne I would not find Millicent hacking ever. Yeah, she yeah. No, just, I, the map is too big and the woman is too small. That that happened exactly the same way for I don't think I even got like I didn't go up the route that gives you the Erd tree gazing hill sight of grace on my first playthrough. Oh. So like again, like like what happened to us, Millicent left Caleb and I never saw her again. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually really happy I know the way some of this is constructed so that I can direct us to that when we want to. Um I'm still keeping quiet about Roger though. <laughs> Um, yeah, Roger disappeared and just like, where? Yeah. Uh -huh. Where is my boy? And also, how do I get his hat? <laughs> I, I want his hat. I don't care about the boy. He can die. Uh, I mean, he probably already has, to be fair. But um, uh, Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Uh, Zombie Clear is streaming. Do you want to raid? Absolutely, yes. Let's go raid them. They are doing Demonologist, which seems to be some sort of a... Uh, some sort of a variant of the... Uh, it's spooky game! Yes. Ghost Hunt, I guess. Uh, so... So. All right, we'll drop a double raid on Cleo. Hell yeah. And uh, thank you folks so much for watching. We'll probably be back this Saturday with a bit more of I, whatever so, this is. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's been it's been a, a, a riot today. Hope you've all enjoyed. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, see you next time. Next time, we'll kill a dragon on a bridge. Probably. <laughs> probably. I we'll hope. see. I hope so. We do need to feed the beast. Yes. All right. Bye for now, folks. Yeah. Bye.